Hey, so everybody out there in Facebook land and everywhere else, I know the thousands of you that are watching this right now. I'm being joined by two very good friends, Adrian Hill and Rob Palmer. And we all have been people who have attended PsyCon in the past. And we are so excited about PsyCon that we can't stop talking about it. And so, so we decided what we would do is just do a video. I would, I'm omitting the word quick because I doubt it'll be quick. I've got a list of things and they've got things they want to say. So this video <clears throat> is aimed at those people out there who are still on the fence on if they should go to PsyCon or not. And those people who have been before, but just didn't feel like they got the full experience or people who haven't gone before and are kind of like, I don't really know anybody or I don't know really what to expect, which I, I mean, I don't really go to a lot of conferences or is this different from the kind of conferences I normally go to that kind of stuff. So we got a bunch of tips and photos and this is going to get to the basics. So, all right, somehow somebody's going to keep us in, in line, right? Who's going to keep us in line? <laughs> Maybe that's your me. job. I have a bunch of photos, but the photos I'm going to show. So if you've been at PsyCon before, you may be in these photos. So just prepared for your Hollywood moment here because people are going to call and say, who is that person? Oh my gosh, they must be on my show. <laughs> anyway, PsyCon is held. Rob, do, do your little thing because you're so good at this. So, um, what, what, what is the PsyCon you speak of? Yes, can you tell yes, us what it's, the it's the is? conference for the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, abbreviated as PSYCON, and it is held every year for as long as I can remember, although it's not, that's just because my memory is Thousands of years. But since, since the early 2010s, <laughs> I guess, um, in Las Vegas, and it's a really convenient place to get to because like airfare is a lot less from most of the country than to other places. The hotels are uh, cheaper generally. Yeah, and um, everything is all in one place because the the hotels are freaking huge. So it's the only place I know of that you can have an entire conference and not leave the hotel. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room for everybody and all that kind of a thing. And if this year it is from the 26th to the 29th of October. It's it's oh my god, that's just a few weeks. It's it's a month. Close to Halloween. Yeah, it's close month. to Halloween. Yes. Right. And right. Uh, Susan has been going to these things a lot longer than either Adrian or I have. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the, the history a little bit. Where did this come from? Where did this conference originate? Well, you know, PsyCon, a lot of people think PsyCon took over TAM after TAM left. But no, psycon has been around for way and, before and, and what is this TAM you speak of? Oh, it's the Amazing Meeting, which was the James Randi Educational Foundation. Um, used to have a conference in Vegas. So PsyCon has been around a lot longer than that. And PsyCon, if you look at the Wikipedia page for PsyCon, somebody pulled it up really quick. I know Rob's doing or Adrian's doing it right now. And tell us what the first year was. But what PsyCon used to do is they'd go from city to city. Like they had Nashville one year, they had New Orleans one year. Um, I didn't go to those, but they were other places where they would have these PsyCon events. And, um, you know, they were fabulous with fabulous speakers. And now that it's moved to Vegas and it's kind of got a permanent home in Vegas, it's it's become the conference it is really a blast i mean unless you can get over to new zealand or australia or, or qed and and manchester mm -hmm. i think this is superior but i do think it's different enough from all the other conferences that you really can't say necessarily one's better than the other they're just they have their well this one's different. pretty big because it spans four biggest. days yeah, yeah this is the biggest yeah. And they have such a high quality of speakers. They're it's just very good. It's hard to compare them to other conferences because they're just very different from each other. Let's just say it that way. <laughs> and so, so to answer your question, mm -hmm. the very first one, 1983. And where was that? Buffalo? That was in Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And when, and when this, was the first time they were in Vegas? Oh, that's a good question. Because the second one was actually at Stanford University. I don't know when the first one in Vegas was. Let's do a so control these phone. More, these are much more professionally run. Um, they're they're um, uh, on time. Mm -hmm. 2016. They've been in Vegas since 2016. Oh, okay. So I, I just missed one. Interesting. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, one and Vegas. And the reason <laughs> why we have it, they have them in Vegas is because, as what Rob just said, it tends to be centrally located. Flights tend to be less expensive. 
um, you know, hotels, if you don't want to stay at the main yeah. casino hotel, 10, you can usually find something inexpensive. They're, it's a conference town, right? And, and there's also like stuff to do that right behind me there. That is where <laughs> it is. And look at that. It was a fantastic trip I took on the big wheel last year. That was amazing. So like you can just walk to these things. Yeah, everything's kind of close by. And there's a lot of people that you'll be able to do things with. So the, so what I want to explain you know, I'm a social person as you two are as well. I'm, I'm a big people person. I love nobody's as social as you, Susan, nobody, because no, come Su on. Susan doesn't go to see the speakers. She goes to hang out at her table and talk to everybody. <laughs> speakers right. come to my table. Thank you. That That's is true. Right. That is speakers right. That come is hang right. out. You want right. to have a one-on-one -on -one with the speakers? Come hang out with us. So, so my story about that is, yes, yeah, Susan gets a table in the book selling room, and that's a very rare thing. There are not many tables, right, for for her team, the Gorilla Skeptics. And uh, I walk in there, and I'm sitting down, and Bill Nye just wanders over and sits down and has his lunch at the table. It's like, it's like, can I sit here? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> And you'll find lots of people sitting at our table that are speakers. And it's, you know, go to the talks, right? Okay, mm -hmm. I stay at the table so that people who are on my team can go to the talks. I just, I just want to stay and hang out at the table because there's a lot of other things happening behind the scenes that it's fun to, to I, I like that. I really mm -hmm. enjoy that. And I can have, and a lot of people have a chance to actually have a one-on-one -on -one with me because there's no way you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with me it's one on 50. And the other time people say, hey, you don't want to talk to you about something. It's, can we talk at Psychon? I'm like, you and 25 other people. There's just no downtime, really. Well, and it, even if you do go to all the talks, you still get to interact with the speakers because they're constantly wandering around. You mm -hmm. run into them in the hallway. You run into them in the elevator. The bathroom. Yeah, exactly. They hang out and eat with you in the food court or the mm -hmm. restaurant. Uh, it's great. I got right. to you, it's very strange to standing at a urinal next to somebody who's famous. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Just tell you. I wouldn't know. Man, women talk. Women socialize in the bathroom. I'm sorry to tell you guys this. Uh, we, have, we, I don't yeah. know. What I mean. you, know you, like, you, you don't stop the conversation when you go in the stall. Yeah, so. You go into the bathroom, you're still talking, <laughs> you leave, you're talking to the people and you just continue talking and then you go through each other's purse and you say what do you got in there oh wow well, I, I haven't seen that do you have any more um yeah women so one of the format things i like about it and i have not been too many to too many other conferences i went to something when i was a teenager and psychon was the first thing way since then but i have like looked them up and i know what the format is and normally at these things you have to pick like they'll have two three yes. four things yeah. going on simultaneously every hour and you, oh, damn, I can only pick one of these. Mm -hmm. And at PsychCon, except for the workshops the first day, where there's sometimes two, I think. They've changed that. This year, there's only one. That's so fantastic. Right. So now yeah. there's no circuit. So now yeah. you can do every single thing you want to do. And more. And more without missing give anything up sleep. at all. So yeah, <laughs> the, the, the sleep <laughs> is what you give up. Okay, so I've got a bunch of tips written down here, you guys. And, and Wait, I wasn't done with my story. I wasn't done with my story. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was a speaker at DragonCon. Right. And this is the first time I ever did this. I actually canceled going in person because this was two years ago and Delta variant was sweeping up and everyone canceled, including the skeptics guide people. And I decided, okay, you know, if they're canceling, I'm not going, but they let me do it over Zoom. But it was still to a room of people because there were still people who went to the conference at Dragon Con in Atlanta. Right. Mm -hmm. um, people had to choose between me and 10 other things at Dragon Con because that's the way it is. Maybe 10 is low, it might be a high number. Mm -hmm. One of them was was Christopher Eccleston, who, for people who are, are Doctor Who fans, he's the first modern Doctor Who, and this is the first time he was ever at a conference since he left the show 20 years ago. Do you think anybody came to my talk? No. I wouldn't have gone to my talk. <laughs> but that's the problem of parallel programming. Yeah, like and QED, so. QED D does yeah. this also in Manchester. They just yeah. happen. I love QED. I've only spoken there one time. I've only been one time. But they do five things at a time. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm glad that Psychon do doesn't do that. So any and, any talk I wanted to do, that's the novelty of it. They like that. They think yeah. that's great, and I guess that's great. But you can't. Not everything's filmed, no. so you miss everything. So you're always know, making a know. choice. Yeah, and like I said, the one time I went in person, I was a teenager. It was to one of the first Star Trek cons. That's how old I am, and it was not a multimedia. It was just Star Trek to try to bring the show back. 
And it's like, yeah, I had to pick between seeing Shatner talk in one room and Nimoy talk in another room. And it's like, oh, this was horrible. Yeah, yeah, that's, I don't horrible. like the choices either, especially when they're all so good. And I have yeah. to say, I've been to Cyclone twice now and both times I can't think of a terrible speaker. They range from good to unbelievably awesome right? They're, they're really, really good. And we'll talk about the Sunday papers a little bit later too, but I think that's one of my big recommendations is stay for the Sunday papers. The very first PsyCon that I went to, Susan said, you must stay for the Sunday papers. <laughs> and that I was really happy I did. They, they were really, really good. That's Sunday Rob papers, yes. spoke at that one. Yeah, Rob's going to talk about that. I, yeah. I, I, I think they're superb. Even if you go to a conference and you listen, and I do listen to some of the speakers. I actually do go to some of them. I've some, of them, yeah. some of them because I've just been like, I got to watch, you know, and I, I go. The book room is not always open. So, I mean, they have to kick me out. Of That's when they, they, kick, they kick you out. Right? I yeah. get kicked out. Because like you couldn't they have resist to lock seeing the doors. Neil deGrasse Tyson speak last year, right? You yeah, I've, I've he heard was so good. And I've heard, yeah, I've heard a bunch of, of talks. So it's not like I, I don't go to anything, but I really want the people who would normally be sitting at my table to have the experience of the conference, the speakers, and I can, mm. I can catch up on it later. But my point is I've been to a bunch of them and even if it isn't the greatest speaker, there's stuff to learn. Absolutely. Uh, you know, there's things yep. you could learn about them with the, with the subject mm -hmm. that they're giving. Um, and, or, you know, because they may not be doing a great job on the presentation or something. I, and that's I, not more, more, I'm more talking about the content. Maybe yeah. that is interesting to me. That's it. I've right? never, I've never seen a bad. They're always, no, they're really good. They're good. No, they're always excellent. phenomenal. And what you see on the video, you know, when they put up the videos later, mm -hmm. It's so my bone of contention with with Psycon is that they show from the beginning to the end of the talk, but there's nothing. The the fun is missing. You're missing the intro by either Leanne or uh, George Rob, which is hilarious. They're amazing. And the outro, you're yeah. missing all that, and you're missing a lot of the audience reaction because the audience is like, I've been on the main stage. I was there just this last year. And, and you're playing to the audience when you're standing on the main stage, you're playing to the audience and, and, you know, they're, you know, having a good time and people are standing up and people, you know, there's things happening and it just, you feed off of them and then they just feel like part of the experience themselves. You know, they raise their hands whenever you tell them to raise their hands. And so all that's missing in the videos you see. So if you're just sitting back and you're watching the, if you're the person who's saying, I'll just watch it from here. You know, I'll just watch it on YouTube. You're missing. Yeah. Mi missing out on George Rab is big. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. And he's yeah. there this year. And David Gorski just says, sigh. I wish I could go this year. David Gorski. Yeah. Oh, I'd love yeah. to meet David Gorski. He's he's a, he's the reason that I found you, Susan. Yeah. Thank so, you, David, for giving yes. me Adrian. Yes, I really <laughs> appreciate that. Richard Saunders will be this time. Arlen Grossman is saying, I wish I could be there, assuming the weather. Is go. Just go. Ooh, where are these people talking to you? Well, in in Facebook, on oh. Facebook, Chat. I can see him right now. So yeah, and, and, I mean, if, if people keep saying, "Oh, I wish I could have gone back in the day," blah blah blah. And it's like, well, just now is the time to go, unless you have a really valid. Oh, I'm so glad when I, I got to see James Randi before he seriously, yes. seriously, yeah, yeah. yeah. You say, "I yeah. wish I could have met James Randi." Well, there's yeah. other people out there right now. Yeah. who you wish you could have seen later you'll say oh I well, wish let me I tell the story met. about James Randi it was like just like a, a one minute thing he, he was like already in a wheelchair uh, you know wasn't doing too well and I was actually wondering about his, his mental faculties uh and he was talking to somebody and then that person walked away and I was standing thinking oh should I approach him I was a little nervous and then he pointed at me and he said sometimes tests are wrong and I just was, oh, wow, what is he imagining? What's going on here? And he goes, your shirt. And I look at my shirt. Of course, sometimes I, you forget what you put on the T-shirt. And it said, I'm not insane. My mother had me test it. <laughs> so he was reacting to, which is a quote from the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Cooper. And uh, he was reacting to that. It was he was, he was the sharpest. <laughs> and you were thinking, oh, poor man. And he's like, what, fool? Look at him. He's trying to figure out if he should come up next to me. And he thinks... Sharp as sharp as attack, I'm telling you. Okay, yeah, so yeah. let's go to let's go to some of this stuff. Okay, so I thought the easiest way to do this is go through the schedule. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to orientate people. So I'm going to show you some photos. 
Rob had this great idea. And I think now that I think about it, Google does this as well. Rob, can you tell people about um, that app that you're using? Oh, well, you could probably do it with uh, the, any map app on your phone. But at the last time I was there, I, I used something that was like for parking because, uh, you know, you park in a big facility and you might forget where you put your car. And uh, I was worried I'm going to do that. So I, I, uh, I have an awful sense of direction. So the, the casino is so large <laughs> to walk through from your rooms <laughs> to where the banquet hall is, to where to where the food court is. And my memory is just bad with those kinds of things. So you have to go through a casino in this direction, then another casino in this direction, and I can never find my way around. So I, I would, the first time I'm there and I find a place, I would mark it on my map. This is where the this is where the casino meeting place is. This is where the food court is. This is where my hotel room is. This is where the speaker's room is. And and then every other time I was just able to follow that to get to those places when they had to get there and not get lost anymore. So well, if anyone has a bad sense of direction like me, that's so, a tip. You know, I, I'm I'm seeing Richard Saunders' names pop, pop up here, and I'm thinking Richard hates the cigarette smoke, and I agree. The cigarette smoke is bad, but until they come to their senses, what are we going to do? There, the conference area is smoke free. There's yeah. no smoking anywhere near the conference, and you can almost avoid it completely if you want. There's no smoking in any of the restaurants, right, guys? I've Correct. never seen any smoking. Yeah, in no smoking. Just and in the casino. Casino itself, and like where people walk from one area to the other, there's smoking. But other than that, there's not. And there's very few smokers at the conference necessarily. Yeah. I, and I the, uh, the filtration systems have improved so much that because I'm very sensitive to cigarette smoke, that it's pretty good. It's it's much better than it used to be for sure. Right. Yeah, so, just walking through it to go to place to place, it doesn't bother it's, me. It should be okay. And it's not so bad. Not yeah, it's still me a terribly, problem, so. but you know what are you going to do? But there's other problems. Being in that it's Vegas, you've got you're walking down a hallway, and everywhere you go, there's somebody like, "Hey, hey, come over here! I have a free sample for you," or whatever you know. And oxygen <laughs> tents. The the pseudo science there is ridiculous. Just don't make eye contact with any of the people there. It's pretty. They're like they're like very good at being friendly. They and really try to give away uh, and get you into mm -hmm. the products that make you ten, look 10 years younger, supposedly. Yeah, right. Uh, there's a lot of mirrors, so it can really disorient you. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of noise. The casinos are built to keep you in the casino, yeah. so you can't always find your way out. So when we say mm -hmm. casino, I'm talking the whole place because there's a casino and there's a it's a complex. So I'm going to pull it up real quick. Yeah, there's a, there is the, the hotel room areas, areas, and then there's the casinos. I think there are multiple ones scattered around. But then then there's the conference facilities, which right. is so where I'm show all you of this the meeting first. Will be. So let's just orient, to, uh, orient ourselves right at the moment about where things are. Now, Vegas, so there is a Facebook group. For PsyCon, I suggest you post in there and let people know. Well, I've got a couple threads started. I'm one of the admins. So I've got a few threads started for people looking for roommates or people looking for things to do or your your itinerary, like you're flying in, you're flying out. Because what you could do is you can, if you're comfortable doing that, post in there and say, I'm flying in on Southwest on this date at this time. And people will share taxis or ubers or whatever with you it's it's a great way of getting to meet people right off the bat so there's that so don't be shy about that everything's fine as far as it goes nothing is walkable distance in vegas i mean you can walk up and down vegas strip but it's not walkable well i wouldn't say nothing it, it, i went out several times to restaurants right outside the flamingo including to the big ferris wheel and things like that and those are all walkable it's okay like so that's minutes. what i want to show you maybe, so you have the minutes. ferris wheel on your screen which is a, yeah. a great landmark right outside of, of um yeah and we even went walking on the strip once to explore it but you need time to do that i mean you're right. not going to do that before talks in between talks. no 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 right. and so just a and just a heads up for with going for a walk they are preparing for the F1. Yeah, I heard that. And so a lot of the main strip will be shut down. Like the fountains apparently have been shut down for the- What's an F1? The Bellagio fountains, I heard that, yes. It's a Formula One racing. Oh, it's a car thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they're 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 going to be racing down the main strip. So they're wow. actually setting up for that while we're there. So oh, just, just as a heads tip. up. Good tip, Adrian. Okay, so here's the casino. There are other casinos you can go to but they are you know you can walk to them but they're it's not like you're going to be able to take a break from and you got an hour break and you're going to be able to get from place to place 
and expect to be sit down, eat and served and get your bill in time. It's just, it's not likely to happen. So uh, plan wisely. Go early, stay late. That's what I, I say. So here's the flamingo. You guys can see that on here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you when we get to this other screen where it is. But okay. Oh, I see the Ferris wheel on the upper right there. Yeah, here's the Ferris wheel right here. And that's a good way of orient orienting yourself. So yeah. out of the back of the, of the flamingo, back in here is a promenade. And that's what Rob is talking about. That's where a lot of people get food. There's restaurants back in there. Because there's, um, you know, all kinds, of course, they're high. I, th I think in and out Burgers is you walk to the right towards the Ferris wheel, if I remember. That's correct, yeah. And there's yeah. A Most of the restaurants are down there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there's a restaurant back here we go to called Marge's. We usually hit that on Monday. It's a like a diner. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so there's some stuff back in here. So this is probably as far as I go. I think there's a CVS nearby, like a right in this area over here. I think there's a CVS if you want to go get, you know, chapstick or whatever you forgot. Milk duds. Milk duds, yeah. <laughs> alcohol. Just to name a random candy <laughs> So, and of course you could take Ubers and Lyft and buses mm -hmm. and, and taxis. There's, those things are all around there. But anyway, so this is the general area where people will go to get food. But keep in mind, it's expensive. Food is expensive. And um, they have labor shortages as well. So nothing is fast. And they're, they're just not going to get you in there and, and get you out really quick. So and and take cash, take a lot of cash with you, because when you're with a meal of people, you want to slow, you want to get out of there. So you throw the cash at the thing instead of waiting for them to bring a bill and then everybody's fighting over who we had what. Just just pay, pay cash and leave. It's easier. It's much well somebody should make sure the tip is everything's in there right but it's so much easier just to, to do it that way than to have to oh well i have to put this on my credit card and <laughs> right you guys i like the credit card i, I find like the credit card <laughs> well i prefer using credit cards yeah, too different advice not what a huge group people. of people i'm not buying for everybody i want i want to leave i need to go mm -hmm. now and and wait the food court was fast yeah, well, the, we'll talk about the food court because mm -hmm. that's a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. But there is there's a Mexican restaurant that's really good right in the Flamingo outside where the Flamingo. Yeah, that was good. We had we had. That was good, but the they can't day. seat 20 people. Right. So they're going to seat like groups of six or, yeah. or whatever it is. And so you're you're having to, you know, I prefer that, but. <sighs> Perhaps know. this is why Bill and I had a box lunch when he sat down at the table. <laughs> and, and, and I don't know where he got that, but. Well, I, oh, that's a different story. I can tell you about that, but okay. So let's talk about the flamingo. Oh, itself. Susan knows where Bill and I got his yeah, box lunch. Yeah, of course I know where that is. Okay. That's <laughs> if you, if you hand to the end, I will tell you where, where we got it. Oh, Wendy says there's a Sonic. I don't remember there being a Sonic. In that hmm. outside area, Wendy, right behind uh, the flamingo. Look it up. I don't know. I've never really had, I never really liked Sonic, but okay. Anyway, so here's to orient to yourself. Okay. So here is the flamingo, right? I'm going to pull it up here like this because I'm going to show you. This is so easy to get turned around in. All the casinos are. Tell okay. me about it. Yeah. So you, so it's very likely you're going to get confused. So let's talk through this, you guys. <laughs> here's where you're going to be, you're going to be um, dropped off whenever you take a taxi, Uber, or whatever lift right this is where you're gonna you're gonna exit there's parking over here but this is where you're gonna walk in at this over here to your left as you're walking in is where you're gonna check in and that's where you're gonna find a lot of people hanging out especially if you show up on a Thursday or Friday this is where well not Friday but Thursday Wednesday Wednesday I'm getting there on Tuesday I'm wow. there on Tuesday Mark Edward and I and I believe Carl with a K is there on Tuesday so this area is you can check in the line is forever long. So check so, in. That's a tip is to check in on the app beforehand because you go to a different place. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can go. They have those kiosk machines mm -hmm. that will just spit a, a, um, a ticket out at you. Yeah. With your room so, key. So your room key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So those are better if you can do that kind of thing. Otherwise, if you're going to get in line and it, there's always some problem. Big line. So, yeah. You know, get your little uh, sign up for your Flamingo rewards or whatever ahead of time. Um or get there at an odd hour where it shouldn't be so busy. But that is 
it's nice because you can see people in line. And I remember what we used to do is we'd sit off to the side. I think there was a bar there. But no, it, not this. No, one. that's the other casino. The other casino. So <laughs> we would sit off to the side. And as we saw people we knew getting in line, I'd text them and I would start talking about what they're wearing and stuff. And then people would say, um, oh, Wendy Hughes. And um, and then she's coming with uh, Heather Henderson. And they'll be there Tuesday. There you go. People Another place might have been the Excalibur. Was that the Excalibur where the I lobby so. bar was right outside? We would, we we would talk to him, say, I really yeah. don't like you in that sh in, in that shirt color or whatever we text him. <laughs> so like, so that was my first that was my first one. And I'm sitting there talking with uh Susan, and I had met Richard Saunders for the first time, and also the people from the Skeptics Guide. It's like it's like, wow, you know, these famous people are in one place, and we're maybe 20 feet from where the people are online to check in. And R R Richard Dawkins walks over to check in. And it's like, oh my God, it's Richard Dawkins. Richard. And nobody there knew who he was. No, the guy checking him in, and none of the people around him knew who he was. Oh, yeah, nobody in line knows who he is, but everybody else on the side is like, oh, wow. And he's just some guy in line, you know, with a yeah. British accent. So, yeah, so I was like a big fish, but little pond. It's like, you know, most people don't. <laughs> well, okay, so here, okay, so orientate yourself. There are three towers, right? Mm -hmm. For hotel rooms. So I don't know what uh, Sycon does as far as blocks, but there are three different areas for towers. So there's elevators here, right off the lobby. And there's elevators down here. And then there's elevators to the right, right here. And all three elevators go up into these towers and they're all named something different. And so your room could be up in there. So don't say you're near, you know, if you're going to meet somebody at the bottom of the elevator, you got to tell them which elevator. There's three different types of elevators in there. And so the ones to the right, I think is the one most people were in. I think so. If you got your room early, like if you were booked by Psycon or whatever, I think they were off to the right. And the conferences are above those rooms. So here's the conference area right here. So if you go into this area for the um, lobby and you make a right, you're going to find this little alley area over here with elevators. And that's where you're going to go up to to get to the main conferences because the conferences are upstairs and they're like a rabbit maze. It's, it's a lot of rooms and I'll show you in a minute. Um, so those elevators, all the hotel rooms are connected right through the elevators. Like if you're on yes. floor 12 in elevator on this side and if you want to walk long enough mm -hmm. you will get to room 12 on the other tower yeah i got my steps in last year by walking <laughs> to wendy's room where we were all hanging out yeah which was it over was, in this area it was a long walk to get it's a long walk and you get yourself okay so um i had several people who first time psychon they they texted me and they said I don't know where I'm at. I'm totally lost. How do I find the conferences? And I said, stand still. Tell me what is the biggest, what are you near? And I will come get you. And I had people right in this area stuck here a lot. Mm -hmm. This is, this was a, there's a, there's a, a restaurant, a barbecue restaurant, like a, it's got one of those funny names. What's it called? Like a, oh yeah. Like it was steak. It was a steak place. Steak place. Like, yeah, yeah. It's probably on here. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, I thought it had a funny name. I don't see Carlos Charlie's. It was Carlos and Charlie's. Was that twenty nine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. so there's a restaurant up in here. This is a walkway right here, and if you walk far enough, this is where you go out into the to the to the Ferris wheels way over here on the right hand side, and there's all those restaurants back in there. So if you go far enough, you will just walk right out. But in here, there's a bunch of elevators. And on the right-hand side, you can kind of see the flamingos off into their, you know, little shelter over there. But this is a very common place for people to get lost, right in this alley area. All this pink is that casino area. So you hold your breath walking through that. <laughs> <laughs> and then these elevators are almost always crowded because they're the closest elevators to the lobby. So you, these these tend to take a lot longer to get up and down in. So if you, if you um, can avoid those elevators, do so and right in here there's always people trying to sell you you know uh come to a <laughs> what are those things called um hmm? timeshare timeshare time 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 well then i'll say the word timeshare yeah. <laughs> they want to sell you on something 
So don't make eye contact with anybody there. Um, Same with the promenade shops. That's where they try and sell you the spa stuff. Oh yeah, down here? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. So, so hopefully this helps orient you a little bit. Now the food court we're going to be talking about in a minute, which is the, um, the main hangout area. That is right here, right? Am I right, you guys? It's right in here because it's in the casino part. I think it's like this 3332, is that right? Food court is five. Okay, no, I lied. Here's the food court right here. Yeah. Okay, so you walk down this area here and then you come over here. So you can see the casino from the food court. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes too. And, and while the food court looks small, it's actually really large. Mm -hmm. That just gives you the scale of this building yeah. and the casino. She's yeah, that's true. There are tons of places. It must be like about seven places to eat in the food court. That's mm -hmm. so weird. That looks so small there. It, yeah, it looks small. Look small. It's but all again, scale. As I'm telling you guys, it is expensive. So even the food court is mm -hmm. an expensive option. It's not like eating at the food court in your local mall or whatever mm -hmm. like that. It, it's the cheapest option, but it's still expensive. So if you want to bring your own snacks um, or if you want to hit the CVS or, or whatever's nearby beforehand, to get yourself some food to you know tide you away, I would suggest that because um, everything is is high priced and um, you know you got to eat. I mean that's just the way it is. But um, almost nobody gambles mm -hmm. in our in our community. Uh, you'll find very few people going out and gambling. You will find people who want to go do things, and I'll talk about that in a second too. So um, we're, we're probably pretty close to the uh, the, the group of people that. I think it was Neil deGrasse Tyson talked about in his book, Starry Messenger, which was, uh, what are they, mathematicians mm. or physicists? I forgot. I think and it was physicists or astrophysicists yeah, even. Yeah. yeah. They had their convention in Las Vegas, <laughs> you know, decades ago. And then basically Las Vegas told them never come back here because like they made, they lost money that, that week in the casino because yeah. like, like they know the odds and they weren't going to gamble. And I think skeptics yeah. are pretty much. We're like not that. going there. Yeah. So very We're unlikely. Okay. So upstairs in the conference area. Do we have a map of the conference area? Let me see. There must be. There must be. Did I? Yeah. I, did, did I mean, I? it is a weird thing. I live very close to Atlantic City, and occasionally we'll go there for a show. And okay, we'll spend an hour before or after in the casino. We okay, we know we're going to lose this kind of amount of money. We're going to just mm -hmm. let's see. If, you know, but it's like I have been to Vegas five times for these conferences, and I've never put a quarter in the machine because I don't mm -hmm. have time to do that. I was like, that's not what I'm there for, right? I, I'm either going to be Very hanging nice. out with other people and talking to them, or I'll be at a speaker, or I'll be, you know, going someplace to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's very little time, you guys. If you can, if you are having a problem with uh, time zones, I would suggest getting there early so you can get acclimated. Um, I had trouble last year because I came from Rome. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. You did. Oh, it was oh. really hard. Okay, I found the I found <laughs> the conference. That. Um, a map of the conference space so let's let's walk through this because it is very confusing and if you see people okay here's tip tip i put on my list always wear your name tag as soon as you can get your name tag always wear it and then reach out to anybody who looks lost and they will look out for you if you look lost it's just the way it is we're all on this you know everybody is how do i explain this people going to psycon are just as eager to meet other people as you are to meet them mm -hmm. if you if you're sitting around and you're like gee i don't know anybody they don't know anybody either and they would love to talk to people and it, it, it's just reach out to people and talk to them i just get over that shyness if you have if you have any okay so let me show you this conference thing did i save it there it is okay i have it right here so let's let's go through this because like i said this is very um confusing and all these maps are on the psycon page so did it pull up yeah okay. yep this this is pulled up mm -hmm. okay all right so remember how i told you guys when you walk into the casino or the 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 lobbies on your left on your right is um some elevators down a hallway if you go up those elevators or that or the um the escalator then you're going to be at the level where the conference is. All right, here is. Oh, I forgot about that escalator. You're, you're right. I yeah, actually wound up. I wound up using that quite a bit. Yeah. I, I wound up using that quite a bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, Here the escalator was a good way to do it because the it would, the elevator quite often would get backed up, especially when yeah. things finished and started. We're about to yeah. start. Yeah. Okay, so now if I'm not mistaken, you come out of the escalators so and mm -hmm. you go down here and then you go this way. Yeah, you, uh, on that map, you would turn left. Right. So, right? Yeah. correct, correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this area over in here is not where we're going to be. Nothing happens here. Or is it right? Oh, good grief. I'm so directionally challenged. Okay. So, <laughs> go this way. Are you showing a mouse or something? I don't see it. Because we don't see the mouse. Okay. Let me exit here. Let's see a second. Let me try that again. I, I didn't, I don't think I did share it right correctly the first time. Yeah, because here's the registration. There desk. we go. Now we can do it. Yeah, there the we registration go. desk. OK, yeah. So you're going to come out of the escalators right here. Yeah. And you're going to make a right down this um, hallway. Mm -hmm. And there's bathrooms mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come around this corner. This is where I always run. In, I don't know why, but I always run into Richard Dawkins right in this area. <laughs> and, he, and the first day he's like, where am I going? And you're like, oh, this way. So the book room is here right in here yeah the, one of these are the book rooms i think this is this is where the book room is Long, i think that's right yeah um somebody could probably look on the website um but it's and the reno there. room i think is where they do the workshops and the workshops are here in the reno room yeah and you keep walking and here's the registration desk that's right and then this is the conference area right here mm -hmm. here's the stage right in here mm -hmm. and this is where everybody's at that's correct. And I think that the Halloween party is in the Twilight Room. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's, correct. This is mm -hmm. the Vista and the Sunset Ballroom, I believe, are the conference. And mm -hmm. then the Twilight is where they put right. the Halloween party on. And you have to come in from and the opening, side. too. They quite often on the Thursday night start in the Twilight Room. Yeah, that's right. You get your name tags and things. Mm -hmm. And this is where the, the pre-conference is. Oh, thank you for reminding mm -hmm. me. All the entrances are here. In this hallway, you guys, this is blocked off. You can't come back here. Mm -hmm. And these doors are not open unless the twilight area is open. So, so you're coming around here, right? So nothing's closed. And the reason why this is, is because they need a book room that's closed, that they can close doors and lock them because there's things to sell in there, right? Mm -hmm. So I wish the breakout rooms were right. I mean, I wish the book room was right here, but that's not how um, it's it's set up. So when you come out of the escalators, right here is where the foyer of the um, casino is. If you were to drill down, it's right here. This is where you walk in. The lobby, check in, mm -hmm. right? But you can't get to the conference areas from there directly. Well, there are elevators right here. You mm -hmm. can take those elevators, but like I said, they're they're often crowded there's people in the room and it's it's just not the most convenient elevators to take because of the the time of the day they're almost always full so so you come out you walk down this little area find these escalators and then take the escalator up and then just take this little walk trust me you're all going to need <laughs> you need to walk anyway yeah good to stretch your legs for sure right. okay so let's talk about um Okay, here I have a couple pictures of where things are. <clears throat> this picture right here I, is always, you know you're on the right track if you find this sign. When you're walking down there, it says, you look fab right here. <laughs> so you know you're in the right area if you walk past this. Now, to go to the conference, you're going to go behind my head over here. There's an entrance. So that's where you know you're, you know you're on the right track if you see this sign so i thought well, that I might be a nice I way of sharing don't remember it. that sign at all that i've taken a picture there almost every time the you look fab is i will show you right now watch they'll have changed it they'll have done some kind of renovation <laughs> they, not there anymore. they can't do anything of the sort <laughs> okay here's where the you look fab is i will show you on the screen when you come out of the escalators here and you make a right and you're walking down the hallway the you look fab is right about here. Okay. And then you go around the corner. You know, I said, go behind my head. And then you go around the corner and around the corner. There's bathrooms and then around the corner. And suddenly you can find the book room right here and the workshops right here and the registration desk here and the main, main conference in here. So you see what I'm saying? It is, it is, you can get lost pretty easily. Okay. So I want to show you that picture. 
Here's the registration desk. I'm going to show you a photo of the registration desk. And this is open, I believe, on Thursday. All right. So this is not the hotel registration. This is the conference This is the registration. conference, conference registration. registration. Right. Yeah. So this is back in here. And I'll show you the hallway where this is. Right. You walk, you walk past there to get to the, the actual uh, presentation mm -hmm. rooms. Yeah. yeah. Here is the hallway where the registration desk is closed. I'll show you that now. Let's see if anybody recognizes who this person is. So there's lots of hallways, lots of long, wide hallways. Is that Brian? Brian? That's Brian <laughs> Kirby. Yeah. 502 Conversations uh, carrying uh, uh, a flamingo outfit. <laughs> As I one just... does. <laughs> Why? As one does. It is, is that, Vegas. Is we don't talk about what Vegas? happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, oh, you know yeah. how this is. Okay. I'm just going to give yes, him a shameless yes, plug now. We'll definitely have a, a place. What you're looking at here is the... Is the um, the picture I showed you a minute ago with the registration desk for Cyclone right here. Right, so right, right. Walking yeah. past it. It's closed, closed temporarily down. for some reason. Yes. So Adrian, yeah. you said something you're going to give Brian a plug. I was going to give him a plug because I just listened to his interview with Christopher Labos, who's a Canadian doctor who's coming out with a book about, and I'm terrible with names, but he did a great interview with Christopher. So ch check it out. It was done a couple months ago, but I just caught it. 502 Conversations. Yeah, 502 Conversations. It was really good. So down here at the very, very end of this hallway that you're looking at, um, there's restrooms on the left. And if you make a right, then you're going to start that hallway to go into where the main ballroom is. Right down this hallway. Oh, I don't remember. I don't do not remember restrooms on the left right there. I got to tell you. Well, I want to see that. Maybe, I see... maybe I thought of the restrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the map again, and you show me restrooms. Okay, there because... but see, this is they a were there. long yeah. point. Uh, I don't know how I didn't see that. Okay, I always but... wound up walking past where Brian is to go to the restroom. Well, it might have been more private. I don't know. Let's see here. We'll look. Uh, I, I wonder if they only let CSI fellows in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody checked my. Okay. Yeah, so they're right the there. Registration. Oh, I thought this was restrooms. It's the other side. Okay, yeah. I lied, you guys. No, I see, no, that's where she was pointing. Here's no, the that's bathroom. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where oh, I remember where, that right. Where, um, where you saw Brian holding the flamingo outfit was right about where my mouse is right. Right, and we and we were to the right of that, so we were looking that way. So that is not a bathroom. And the Just picture was sure taken was from this perspective. So yeah. I lied. There is no bathrooms back yeah. here. At least not official. Yeah. And I, and I and I do know this. Because Susan, what have you been up to? <laughs> I don't even drink. So so so, ge so getting to the bathroom between speakers because it's generally like five minutes it, is a challenge. Way. Yeah. And like sometimes that one was closed for maintenance, and then you had to keep walking, go down, down, go to, down, here. down to that yeah. one, right? Pass and one, the books. one time that was closed too, and then I had to keep walking to the right to the, get the one near the escalators. Yes. Yeah. And that's like a good five minute walk from one side to the other. Well, I'm telling you, you're getting your steps in. That's why yeah. you, you you do it. So okay, so this is the registration area. You saw it's a wide hallway, long hallway, um, and. Um, this is where you're going to get your name tags and things like that on Thursday if you have any problems yeah. or, or or that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's see what else I was going to show you, right. where things are. Okay, here's another. And photograph. Adrian and I are going to to request special name tags, but we'll talk about that later. Because Who I, is? I, I did that last year successfully. You and you and Bill Nye? No, Adrian. Oh, you guys are going to be what? Oh, special name tags. Oh, right. whatever. <laughs> Okay, so this, what you're looking at I know at some here, of those people. You're yeah, missing your third that, eye. Oh, I know. I didn't have <laughs> time. This is that area that I was talking about where there's a lot of people, um, the elevators that I was saying you might want to find to one of the towers. This is off to the area. So you'll see a lot of mirrors, a lot of tile. So I, I think I saw Janine there and Shanda. And Jane. Yeah, Jane. Um, Abhijit. Yeah, yeah, Jane is there. Abhijit, Shanda, yeah and i have another photo of where things are okay this is a lot of hanging out and just so, so you know susan carolyn d is saying that the planters are not bathrooms <laughs> thank you carolyn for letting me know unless it's an emergency <laughs> what, what have you been up to susan? what would you think they feed the flamingos on oh my god you guys people people the things you don't know this is why I'm here to tell you these things. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture of a hangout area that we found. And 
Um, this is from a couple of years ago, because I know because Janice uh, Boynton's in this photo. And there is not some really great places to hang out if you don't want to, unless it's like it's a food court. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm showing you an area that is right off of the um, lobby area. So on this side where I'm, my mouse is moving is where that flamingo um, outside is, the glass. I'll show you in just a minute. Oh, look, there's Rob. <laughs> Deborah and Carl with the canes and some other people. So this is what it looks like in um I don't the, remember uh, being at that table. Then. Lobby area. You were there. I have a photo. <laughs> but we liked this area because it was smoke free mostly. And you can move the tables and you can move the chairs and you could just hang out. We could spend hours there. Nobody, nobody said anything. And you just have to go get a drink or you'd have to go get food and bring it back or something like that. But I'll show you where that is. So that's one of those hangout areas that's just impromptu people will try to find. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of really great places for um you know, just hanging out. Purely. I think that might be the place where at the end of the conference last year, George Robb set up and did an impromptu. I think concert. it might, might be. Have tried yeah. To. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to show you exactly where that spot is, you guys. And this is kind of where I hang out if I'm not at the food court and, it, and, and the conference is not happening. This is in between. So that picture I just showed you is right here. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Right there. And so it's a nice place to be because people can see you because they're walking through in this area and then they're going this way to go down here. Isn't there a place to get some like breakfast in here? Like a, um, uh, I think it's a little coffee shop. Coffee like a little, area. Yeah. There's a coffee area there. I think. Yeah. Of course it's expensive. You guys, Yeah, but there's a place where you can get, and there's a long line. I was going to say, I never went there because there was always a long line. Yeah. There's a long line. So what I just showed you is right here. So you can go through the glass doors and you can go into this area where there's a Mexican restaurant back in here. And it was good. And we ate there quite oh, yeah. often. We've eaten there a couple of yeah. times, but it does get a Carlos's Carlos and Charlie's. I thought is the name of it. Right. Oh, is it? Did I get or it? Or was it before? this other one? Uh, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Probably. I think it's Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Yeah, It was good. It was yeah. fine. It just took forever. It was packed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you come around in here. So don't go there nice for lunch on Saturday or you'll miss a talk and a oh, half. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> As we found not out. before, not before <laughs> any, just don't, don't even try. Dinner's Rest fine. For after hours. Yeah. Every other time. Okay, so should we get to the, let me see, should we get to the food court? Um, okay, I showed you where the food court was, right? Yeah. Let's talk about food court. Because this is the best I've been able to arrange. Now, I'm not in charge, right? I am definitely not in charge. I'm but just she does heard person. the cats well. I heard cats well. <laughs> so if you are looking to hang out with people, if you are don't know anybody and you want to hang out with people, then come up to me. I'm at the table or I'm wandering around and say, hey, I don't know anyone. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook. I don't know people, but I really want to go and have a good time because I, I would like to be more social. I will make sure that you... I'll do my darn best to make sure that you're part of the group because I don't like clicks. Clicks piss me off. But, you know, you got to make a little effort. I'm not going to go wandering up to, well, actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you have a name tag on, you're free game. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to offer you. Plus, remember, she asked everybody to wear their name tag. So you're all free. Wear your name tag because if you're wandering around and, you, and you're trying to eat by yourself or whatever, and you, if you really want to eat by yourself, okay, but you're at a conference with like-minded people. So if you're trying to sit by yourself, probably go somewhere. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Just don't yeah, so, like you. I'm going to offer you, I'm going to say, you know, you can come sit with us. There's no seating arrangement. Nobody signed up for this in advance. Please come sit with us. We'd like so, to meet So you. let me tell you a story that I actually recorded for the Skeptic Zone one yes, year. Yes, we all love the Skeptic Zone. I interviewed uh, Paula Serrano who was the first time attendee she had flown from argentina halfway around the planet and she knew nobody she knew nobody in the skeptic movement she wanted to meet james randy because she she's a, a translator and she had done the spanish subtitles for an honest liar mm -hmm. and she kind of fell in love with him doing that and she decided she wanted to come and meet him but she was really nervous and she ran into Susan and Susan made her very feel comfortable and just, you know, just took her under her wing. And that was great. 
So somebody who didn't know anybody at all flying from another country whose first language isn't even English, although she speaks it perfectly. Right. Uh, you know, S Susan just just helped get 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 just wonderful with the conference. And then yeah, this leads nicely into the segue of what Susan often recommends, which is wear your nerdy shirts, because that's how you met Carl with a K. Yeah. And and I love Stephen that story. Hutt. Stephen yeah. Hutt. Um, who's now the editor of Skeptical Inquirer. I used to go, my son Sterling, who will be at this conference, he's been going to conferences since he was 14, and now he's like, I don't know, 106. I hear you have another son who just doesn't want to come to the conference. What are you going to do with him? I do have two sons. <laughs> I have seen him in the same place at the same time, so I know I have two. <laughs> one plays trivia with us, one doesn't. One goes to the conferences. So anyway, so Sterling and I would go to the conferences, and we would make play this game. Who are we going to see? You know, who are we going to see that we don't know that you can tell us going to the conferences? Mm -hmm. And I would go to, they had a bus that would pick us up. You you would have to register to get on the bus and it would take you to the hotel. And so we would get on the bus and I would say, who do I know? Who, look at that guy right there. He is going to the same conference I am. I know it because of the nerdy shirts and they're, they look like they're going to go. And I would go over and I'd introduce myself and I'd say, hey, are you going to such and such conference? And they're like, yes, I am. I'm like, fantastic. We are too, you know, we, you know, just to be friendly and stuff. And then I always take a picture with them and selfies or whatever. I've got a picture of Stephen Hupp and, and Carl with a K together. And they are now very dear friends of mine. And they're just, they didn't know anybody. And I will pull up a picture. Somebody tell a story really quick while I pull up a picture. It, it's it's actually funny. I didn't really know you had two sons because yeah, every time I'd gone there, I'd only <laughs> seen the one, Sterling. Sterling. Yeah. And then we start playing trivia, and this other guy shows up who claims to be your son, and it's like, and Sterling never comes. <laughs> like, what is that? He claims to be my son. How funny that is. He claims to be. I have the stretch marks. I can prove it. So Carl now is a uh, photographer for the conference. He goes around with Brian Engler, and they take a lot of photographs for us to be able to use for. Um, um, yeah, it, it, rumor has it at least half of the pictures on Wikipedia are are Carl's. That are that, okay. Here's here's a photo. I will I will show this photo. So you here might are these two people about the who've never met each other, but a lot are. They just recently figured out that they are from the same town. <laughs> I didn't know it. That's so that funny. Stephen Hutt is now the editor of Skeptical Inquirer magazine. He was just some random guy who showed up at the conference, and here's Carl who's been to, he, this is his third site, a uh, third conference at uh, Skepticon, uh, Psycon, I mean, sorry. Or, no, his third conference, his third conference. What does the shirt say? I cannot read it. Ghost. Ghost oh. in the shell. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, stand something duplex. And this is Skeptic, I don't know. So they didn't know each other. Standalone complex, I think. Yeah, so they didn't know each other. And Carl tells a story, and I'm going to embarrass him because I'm going to tell this story because he's not here. So, <laughs> Carl. So he'll never know about it. He'll never know because we're not recording or anything. He's not going to Wait, you're recording? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> he's not going to listen. Carl says he's gone to two other, he'd gone to the towns. Mm. And he'd gone with his friend from town, and they're both introverts. And he says they never associated with anybody. And so the third year, his friend says, I can't go. And, he, and Carl says, I still want to go. And he's like, I don't know anybody, even though this is his third conference. And so he shows up and I accosted him at the, uh, <laughs> I guess that's a nice way of saying it. I accosted him at the um, the bus stop. And he says, I guess I know people. <laughs> and he just, he just associated with people after that. And it's been great. It's been wonderful to know these two people. But well, now he's the I center mean. of the and now he's the center of the party, right? I mean, oh yeah. Do you remember the time he used? Oh, we, we have to not record when we talk about that. Oh, and that other time, do you remember when he put on? Oh the... yeah. <laughs> well, I could show you one of one of. Oh, don't talk about no. it. Don't talk. No Here. photos. What stays happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, well that that's long. You know, now it's what what happens in Vegas goes on the internet immediately. <laughs> we don't want to talk about the time in him and Elvis. No, no. I was just going to show you one one of his photos. So. Here is one of Carl's many photos. Oh, yeah, it's a good photo. He's a wonderful photographer. So yeah. is I've, Brian Engler. I've been using that. I find them both doing a lot of years. photographs. Adrian, she, she's a wonderful photographer. She's going to be taking pictures too. But, you know, there's... I, I probably won't bring my camera though because, you know, we've got Carl and Bill Brian. Nye. 
will take a picture with you. No problem. But you will have to have a, a lesson in how to take a selfie if you're going to take a selfie with Bill Nye. That's good. Right? He gives a lesson? He, he gives a lesson. So, so Bill, Nye does, not, left Bill Nye told, he does not like selfies. No, he likes selfies. He just no. wants your left he hand. Does not like selfies. He, he he specifically said that he doesn't mind he loves talking to people because i pointed out he says yeah but i don't like doing selfies but yeah well still if you're gonna do one take it <laughs> these are left i'll just get somebody else i'll get make sure you can take a picture with me and bill nye oh, there you go. <laughs> and you have to look right at the little anyway he always gives instructions and there's a lot of people i know who've had instructions on how to use the take a selfie with bill nye i need instructions i've had lessons with you susan and i'm getting better but it's still hard i find it really hard well, I don't know. Just, I think it's because my arms are, I don't know, too long or something. Oh, your arms can't be too be long. An the, the, that's what the elbows for. You bend the elbow. Anyway, okay. okay. Get back to the picture, Susan. <laughs> All right. Food court is where we're at. Now, mm -hmm. you guys saw where I put the food court, right? I didn't put it there. I mean, you know where it is now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the food court is where people hang out. Wendy and, um, and Heather Henderson have made a little meetup saying, because Heather has not been to a psychon mm -hmm. and, but she's been to many other uh, conferences and she's got a zillion friends. She's, she was on um, uh, the no God band, um, Pendulette. She was one of the, the performers oh, for okay. the no God band with Pendulette. Why so do she, I think I met her? If she has never been, are you sure she's never been to a psychon? She's been to town, but she's never uh, been But to I was town. never at a town. Well, it's funny how we know each other, even though we don't know each other. Did she ever come to trivia? She had, I think, once. Ah, okay. She That's what I remember talking to her. Okay. Anyway. Yes. Milk dad time. No, I was afraid. Oh, I thought it was milk dad. <laughs> no, if it was milk dad, I'd be going. <laughs> no, I'm eating grapes. So, so they put up a little meetup. You'll find it on the, um, the Facebook page for Psycon. And it's got some, you know, because she's saying, Hey, everybody, I haven't seen you in a very long time. Come come hang out with us at the food court. I think they've got it set up for seven o'clock on Wednesday. But I'm letting you all know the food court is kind of the hangout when the conference is not happening or when there's a break. You go to the food court, you will find people there. Sit by anybody with a name tag and just, just introduce yourself. The easiest opening lines are, so are you, is, your, is this your first psych on? or um what else can you say come on or i really enjoyed your talk because guarantee there's going to be at least one if not 10 speakers there yeah. i mean i'm exaggerating with 10 but i i do recall one time that there was at least six or seven it was yeah. really fun <laughs> or um so what talks have you liked so far yeah or um what did you think of that last talk or um, whatever and this is how you get the conversations going or i always say and what part of the computer industry do you work in? <laughs> because they all seem to be like, well, <laughs> or are you around uh, 10? That's an exaggeration. <laughs> Only nine out of 10 people are IT people. No, no. <laughs> what part of the computer industry do you work in? And, I, you and it's all over my head. Are you from Canada? That's another one. Um. Yeah. Why do I think you're from Canada? <laughs> Have we met before? <laughs> So, um, so that's why you want to keep your name tag on. Um, I also suggest the name tags are big. Mm -hmm. Put your business cards in the mm -hmm. back of the name tag. And I also keep my room key in there so that I mm -hmm. always have my room key handy. But you can put in the pocket of the name tag all your um, business cards. So you can hand those out if you want. It's very easy to be able to keep pieces of paper, maybe a pencil, something like that. So you can take notes because you're, you're going to meet people. Or take pictures of everything you know you gotta have your phone oh my gosh okay food court jeez guys you get me off the subject but we talked about food court no i want to show pictures of the food court this is what it's like so anytime there's a downtime and you're looking for some place to go or what to do the food court's usually open till 10 or something like that and they don't kick you out they don't you know you can stay as long as you want nobody cares oh i gotta pull the picture up before i can show you the pictures it's basically, I don't know if the food's being served, but the whole area is open 24 hours a day, I believe. I don't know about that because I think we would have taken it over <laughs> more often. Just because of the casino, right? So I think that. I don't know. But see, there's there's different foods in here. Mm -hmm. So here's some random pictures. Today. There's Rob with his with his mask on talking to Kyle Polish, Carl, Kyle Polish. 
um <laughs> kyle <laughs> carl <laughs> this guy was in a lot of things um he kept going to different things but anyway so i kept moving more and more tables and people would come into the food area and they had their name tags on and i'd say well after you get your food just pick a spot you know all these tables were hanging out now we don't re reserve tables mm -mm. We're just like kind of put your purse there and your jacket there and so that you can have more and more and it was so much fun because people would move around and they'd sit at different tables and they'd get up and move to another table and somebody had to leave then they'd just consolidate there's always room to put up another table or another chair here's george rob a bunch of people in here having a really great time there's kyle and then that's at another that's still in the food court here's the breakfast mm -hmm. now it was awful <laughs> it's okay it was okay oh my god i mean it was like and it, it was, was okay it was like 20 <laughs> bucks or something yeah, it was not cheap yeah it was not cheap a piece of pizza a piece of cheese pizza and a soda like 16 dollars. it was just ridiculous okay so and there's a long line for this food here's another food court picture well it depends what time you go i mean I, I, this is a little blurry well, there's, there's there kenny quickly. donald biddle carl with a k john guy there's romero and faith um oh that's me uh, this guy's name is um he's not on facebook i can't remember his name when you're not on facebook i can't always remember here's paula who's going to hate that picture of herself here's the incredible <laughs> hulk uh, incredible <laughs> is his name incredible no credible credible hulk. Credible. credible hulk yes Matthew. And his girlfriend was sitting across from him. Wendy, Carl with a K again, with his nerd shirt. And this is Yaman Chan. And so you can see the casino is right here. So it mm -hmm. it, it is kind of off in a weird angle. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it I'll show you on the map again where this food court is because we spend so much time there. Here's another one. Here's Lee Pinter and her boyfriend, John. Um, and you can see how people are just kind of, there's Rob with his, his arms arms on his hips and people just with this round hips. earth shirt round earth, <laughs> round earth shirt. and and people come and go so like we were sitting here and this is a funny story um lee's lee's boyfriend is kind of a shy kind of guy he's a, a professor of um rocket systems or something like that i don't know something like that but anyway he's not the type that's very outgoing and and um and you know, Mr. Social Butterfly. But what I was trying to do at this thing, this is Thursday night. I was trying to make sure people got to meet people and talk to people that they didn't know. I wanted to make people put them at comfort level right away. Okay. Get back to the picture. All right. Food court is around. I can hear Rob's wife. Is that his wife or TV or something like that? That was very no, I, I switched over to Facebook to read a comment and the audio started playing. So oh, I mean, yeah. Sure. I've had that happen before. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so what she said, she was really shocked because some people left the table behind us and that left like a couple sitting there by themselves. And she says her boyfriend got up and went and sat with them so that they would not feel uncomfortable, you know, that they would still be there. And she says, I was shocked. He did <laughs> and she says they're best friends now. <laughs> she says they had so much in common. That's they just so started talking and, and they're all in the same field and they knew all about the same airplanes or rockets or whatever it was and they just were just like she says you never know who you're going to meet and it was really mm -hmm. nice to see how her boyfriend just got up and sat at a table as total strangers and they just hit it off and you know that's how it is mm -hmm. we're here already with a commonality we've all come to psychon for this for this um, experience and so and i think that's what's so compelling about going to these conferences is you meet lifelong friends for yeah. example i met lois my friend from calgary i didn't meet her in calgary i met her in toronto <laughs> at a conference <laughs> it's canada yeah <laughs> and cat the same thing we hosted we can reason and i met cat there and we talk almost daily now like you meet lifelong friends mm -hmm. when you go to these conferences and Absolutely. So, so I I met Adrian at the conference when yeah. and and Adrian was a shill for Banachek because he invited her up on stage and, and he just played along and did all these magic things. I, I like, know. Like, hey, Kenny. Like, I was hey, paid a lot there? of money. <laughs> so let's let's go to some more of the other things. Okay, so there's oh, and a, another one is um, uh, uh, Abhijit. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's down in the front row with me at my yeah. talk, my workshop. Yeah. And, Adrian was there and they yeah, thought I, I had, I had never, they didn't know each other, anybody. 
Yeah. We we sat down at Brian Dunning's. Um, Brian Dunning last year had had a skeptoid talk about like where you know where they sh they should go yeah. with things, and and it was by invitation. You know, you had mm -hmm. to register in advance, and there were like I don't know, maybe two dozen of us. And Abhijit was there, and after it broke up, Abhijit and I and uh, two other people just sat talking for like three more hours. It was yeah. like, and it was it's like wonderful. Yeah, in interesting. I have a yeah. picture of that too. Oh yeah, I have a picture of you guys at the table, but I think mm, I, I oh, no, I do have it. I do have it. It's, it's one. Of the I've got it in pictures. my PowerPoint. If you want to save it for later. Oh. Okay, so here is again. This is you have kind a PowerPoint. Wow, I was not there prepared no, for this, Adrian. Okay, so let me be I clear. There is no before. official invite. Nobody's going to officially tell you where anything is happening. Nobody's going to say, "Hey, you guys, we're at this location." Mm -hmm. I mean, I might try to do that a little bit on the Facebook. Um, yeah, I've seen you do page. that. You you post on try, Facebook, but not chapter. everything because I just hey, we're on the food court. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll say, hey, we're going to the food court or whatever. But just assume that you're invited. So that's mm -hmm. just kind of the way it is. But you you have to advocate for yourself if you want to be hanging out with people. And and this is a good example. If you see a bunch of people with the name tags on, or they just look familiar because you've seen them on podcasts. Well, you listen to them podcasts, so you've seen them on things. You're probably welcome to to go. Just at least go try. People mm -hmm. are. People are, are, there's a lot of awkwardness when you go to these kinds of conferences when you're new. You feel like you're not part of the end group, but I assure you, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's how it is. But it, it's, you kind of have to get over that nervousness. And the people who in the group that look like they all know each other, they may, or they may have just met each other a few minutes ago. Yeah. It, unless you have somebody in the group who's who's the social type, who who is like like myself, who will say, hey, come and join us. You know, most people won't do that. And so you're going to feel like it's a closed group, but really, it really isn't at least nothing that I'm involved in. So if you see people sitting like this, you could just walk over and say, hey, you look like you're kind of all my kind of people. You're all going to PsyCon. <laughs> Kitty says, Susan is social enough for all of us. Ha -ha, <laughs> not true. I need to be more social and we need more social butterflies because I think it makes it's it's good. And so you've got these tables. Just come over and say, hey, hey, are you guys going to PsyCon? And we'll say, yeah, sit down. You know, that's kind of how it is. Mm -hmm. um, here's here's an impromptu thing I found. This is oh, that's awesome. This is um, Stuart Weiss. Mm -hmm. And this is Craig Foster, two of my favorite people. They had not met in person and they've, uh, they've been having all sorts of associations with each other and they never met until this day. The problem with the, the, with the conference is, is that you're not going to find a lot of chairs like this mm -hmm. up and where it should be, where it's comfortable, where you want to, there's no smoke and all that. But if you can find an opportunity to sit down and hang out with people, just do it. There's only a few areas like this, quiet areas like this, but it's such a nice little area. Um, this right here is the one that Rob is talking about. There's Abhijit, there's uh, Brandy, uh, Perny, and no, this this wasn't. Is uh, this and this is Anthony. This is that stunning thing. Yeah, he's at the end. Thing. There's, oh, yeah, the end. there's Adrian. Okay. So this is at a restaurant later. Now, like I said, these are great. It's fine, but getting a spot, getting a place where um, they're okay with getting you in and out fast is not going to happen. Mm. separate checks doesn't happen very easily yeah there we go and here's here's <laughs> i started out this is wendy's wendy and paula's um hotel room there's wendy right there and this tends to happen somewhere it usually turns into a giant gossip session everybody has to leave their phones somewhere else <laughs> nobody's recording uh, oh is that the role yeah <laughs> and it just started out with wendy and i everybody else was off on the ferris wheel or show or something <laughs> And Wendy and I were just together. And I said, hey, Wendy, I'm going to come up to your room. Let's hang out. And then, you know, people kept texting. Where's everybody at? I'm like, I'm in room such and such number. And then people just kept showing up. And we had just this, this is one of the pictures with just a few of us. But yeah, it filled up like 15 people in that room after a while. <laughs> here's, a, here's breakfast. Um, yes. This is um, uh, um, Robin and Phil. Phil, Phil um, his Ferguson. podcast. Phil Ferguson, Ferguson. Phil Ferguson show. Here's Abhijit. This is breakfast on Monday morning. If you can stay till Monday, please stay till Monday. It was fun. We had a really big group and it was really funny because yeah, we all got our out. food. Don't try to fly at home on Sunday. You know, it's, it's just going to be, you're going to miss everything. Yeah. You're going to be stressed. Well, and what, and what, what are they going to miss particularly well, on Sunday? Miss the Sunday papers and we can't have that. 
And then there's Sunday lunch papers afterwards we hang out. Well, and, and Dunning's Sunday doing his movie. Dunning's doing his movie. Dunning's doing his movie, which is awesome. The you guys UFO movie. They, they don't, want, don't you want, want you to know. See. So, and then don't Monday see, morning, yeah. we try to all meet for breakfast down mm -hmm. in the area uh, I was showing you off the promenade. I think it's Madge's. Mar oh, here it is. Max's. M-A-X-I-E apostrophe S. We try to meet there and have breakfast and then people start going home you know you got yeah. your luggage and you go off to 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 wherever you're going to go and that's what we like to do so those are some of the hangout things but here i have a funny story that we from from that breakfast oh, tell from me. last year we all got our food and then susan just shouted out okay everybody say grace and every single person that was there and there must have been 20 of us went grace <laughs> Uh, impromptu and it was a loud race you know, I wish we had a recording of that I don't remember that it was all. very funny because the whole restaurant like, <laughs> everybody say grace okay here's everybody leaving after that Sunday breakfast well a lot of people leaving and you know they got their luggage and stuff and a lot of new friends you know people who had met before yeah. and 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 that kind of thing there's Mark and um robin welsh wendy mm -hmm. carl with the k there's adrian back there deborah uh, romero faith paula who never appears in pictures except like maybe in profile like <laughs> so yeah so here we are on sunday getting ready to leave and um some people leaving and i think there's another photo. monday yeah monday yeah monday, yep. oh after the halloween party which somebody else is going to talk about the halloween party um it was a little loud some people yeah. you know halloween party definitely go mm -hmm. It was fun. Some people were kind of afterwards were kind of like, you know, it's gotten to a point where it was a little loud. And so they just started pulling in chairs. And I'm going to show you these two photos because it shows you how um, that long hallway right outside of the ballroom. And this is this is um, where some people just started hanging out. And we're mm -hmm. wearing our Hawaiian gear because this was after the Hawaiian Halloween party. Mm -hmm. And here's just impromptu chairs. There's Dunning. And then, um, oops, wrong picture this one mm -hmm. so this is just outside yeah i'm standing right outside of the mm -hmm. uh, ballroom where they had the halloween party and people were just kind of pulling up chairs and just hanging out and that's what i mean about psycon is it's just so social mm -hmm. yeah wendy says the best part is the hallway um, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well and i don't understand why they do this this happens all the time at parties they start out the music's nice and low and we have a fun time and we're socializing and we you know they had some food there and they had amazing costumes and a costume uh contest right yeah, yeah. People, uh, that got voted on and the costumes were amazing they're so fun and you don't have to get dressed up but you should get dressed up and <laughs> It, and yes, and then all of a sudden the contest is over and then the music goes up. And a lot of us, especially we're tired, right? We're tired. It's been a Saturday, a very, you know, Saturday night and it's been intense. It just go, 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 go. And uh, it, it was, we couldn't talk anymore. And so we all just moved out into the hallway and we just brought chairs and we made a big circle and the circle got bigger and bigger and, and it became a big oval huge oval we were just all chatting and it was really fun it was really it was really a lot great. of fun yeah, yeah the halloween party is a blast but uh, you know i want to socialize and after. yeah so bill, bill and i will be there he, he wouldn't tell tell me what his costume was going to be but mm -hmm. he said he was going so that's what i do okay let's talk about the pre-conference because that's the next photos i have okay. so this happens on thursday right pre-conference mm -hmm. so what's going to happen like i'm getting there on tuesday so come hang out starting on Tuesday. Um, um, I put my time arrival time on uh, the Facebook meetup uh, for PsyCon. PsyCon Facebook meetup. So there's a group right there. And um, so pre-conference on Thursday night, what happens is there's workshops. I'll talk about that in a minute. But after the workshops, um, there's like people go out to eat and they go to, that's when you usually hit restaurants because there's kind of a couple hours downtime. Mm -hmm. And then they have a pre-conference and that is where the doors open up into where they have the Halloween party and you'll find all these tables. I'll show you some photos so you can get an idea of what it's like. And there's snacks like, you know, fruit and stuff. And there's a bar you can buy drinks from mixed drinks. Um, and then everybody's kind of hanging out and it's just a mass. I can't sit still. There's just too many people to greet there. 
And most people I don't think will have their name tags yet. Well, no, maybe they will. No, we would be. I, yeah. yeah, I think we have. And them. then they'll have like Raman Blumner, who's the um, CEO of, of Psycon, uh, CEO of uh, CFI. She'll make an announcement. They'll probably be, they'll introduce Stephen Huff, I expect. There'll mm -hmm. probably be board members there. I'm not a board member, but there'll be some talks and stuff like some speaks, um, some, some like speeches. Speeches, yeah. So that's always nice to hear. And then they'll officially open the conference. That's how it usually works. So, but there's a lot of hanging around. Uh, there's not a lot of places to sit. It's a more of a walk around kind of thing. And here's a couple of pictures I have so you can get a feel of what it's like. It's just people standing around. You'll meet people that you have no idea. You'll, you'll go, oh my gosh, you'll look to your right or your left and you'll all of a sudden recognize somebody you've, that's on a podcast. Here's Robin speaking in the background. There's Leonard Tramiel. Spencer, is that Dawkins right there? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. But hard to say. Yeah. So there's not, there's these little low tables, and there's a few chairs, but there's not very many. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of the standing tables. These standing tables like this is Greg Duray, and then you can you can just stand around and talk. Yeah, you're right. They have their name tags on. And so I'm wandering around. I do a lot of photos. Is what I do. So this time is just like, oh my gosh, and I give quick hugs to people that I haven't seen. Hey, yeah. Ross. Greg DeRay, Ross Blotcher from Ono, oh mm -hmm. Ross and Carrie. And this is Charles. And it's just like scattered. It's just, just like a giant room that's just open and people are just mingling and they're picking up food and there's a food tray over here. And then, like I said, they stop and they do, um, Robin Blumner will talk and he will probably be introduced to um, um, Stephen Hupp, who you've already seen with Carl with a K. Mm -hmm. is very first um, conference like that and so if people who don't know ross 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 plocker is uh the ross part of oh no ross and carrie podcast mm -hmm. and that's a podcast uh i listen to and used to listen to and that was he's got such a distinctive voice kind of mm -hmm. like maybe second only very nice Brian, very Brian Dunning. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful and, yeah and what was weird there is um i don't remember how this happened but like five of us are standing hey you want to go to dinner and he said hey, i got my car because i guess he's local we i'll drive so ross is driving and i'm in the car and i like oh my god this is like a famous podcaster guy and it, it's dark because it's night we're going to dinner and he's talking and it sounds like he's talking on the radio because he's in the front <laughs> and i'm listening to the back it's, it's a weird experience that brian denning too he sounds exactly like he sounds yeah. yes Yes. So funny. Very much so. You close your eyes. You're like, I'm listening to a podcast. I still maintain that he's got a real squeaky voice and he just puts that on every time he talks in public. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back to this real quick again, just because I want to keep everybody on the same page. This is what the, remember, here's the conference room. We don't have anything to do with this. This is nothing we do. We have nothing to do with this area over here. You come up the escalators right here. You make a that's the easiest way to get there. I mean, you can come up from the elevator um, right here, which is right underneath that is the lobby to check in at the hotel. You could take that, but like I said, that elevator is almost always really crowded and it's a problem. But right here is the escalator. You go up the escalator, make a right, walk down here. You'll see that sign that says, you look fabulous. Go around the corner. There's bathrooms. You don't have to stop there if you don't want to. And then you come this way and then there's a book room and I will be in that book room and that's kind of a hangout area. And then right here's where the workshops are and you continue, here's bathrooms and you go around the corner to your left and that's a registration desk for PsyCon. And then you go around the corner again and this is the main ballroom and this is where the, where the meet and greet will be on Thursday. And it's also where the Halloween party is. And that requires a separate ticket, the Halloween party. But I would highly suggest going to it. It's a lot of fun. It really is, you know. Um, and it's seeing the costumes are a blast. Of his. Yeah, they're very clever. And uh, Romero won last year and because he was a, a data was, miner. It, <laughs> awesome. Data miner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to briefly hit workshops. And could one of you guys look at the workshops? And uh, I'm going to show a picture too. And then you guys can tell me who's going to be doing workshops this year. Richard Wiseman, I believe, yeah, and I Penny Biddle. I got a ticket for both of them. Yeah. Richard Wiseman? Mm hmm oh. So here's Mark Edward doing a workshop one year. And these have the little tables in there. So, uh, or they have the big circular tables. So you usually can take notes. What are these, like two hours long? They yeah, are 9.30, an hour, an hour and a half. 
Yeah, these are more intense. No, wait, wait. Nine thirty to twelve. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay, now That's these are never two recorded. and a half. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you will not see these later online. They're not recorded. These are workshops right. where you're supposed to be learning something, kind of thing. And yeah. They so the, the first tickets. The first one is Jim Underdown and Kenny Biddle will share their dedicated decades of experience in the split workshop, focusing on mysteries and superpowers. What time is this one at? That is 9 30 to 12 o'clock. And yeah, then after Thursday. lunch, you want to be there on time. So you want to get there at least by Wednesday because you do not want to yeah. miss these workshops. They will sell out. So, so the next the one is. is after lunch, 2 to 4 30. And this is the magic for skeptics. Mm -hmm. Richard Wiseman, Ray Hall, and Massimo Polidaro. Oh my gosh, you guys. Part journey Massimo into the fascinating and world of magic and skepticism. Mazamo and Richard Weissman and Ray Hall. Oh my gosh, what a! No, I didn't know Ray was into magic. That's interesting. Well, he does the physics is um, the physics stuff, all those little uh, devices that make magic stuff. He's the person in charge of the Sunday papers. We're going to get to together. Mm -hmm. We will take a deep dive into deception, psychology, science, skepticism, and the paranormal. This will be a hands-on and highly interactive session. Da -da -da -da. Right. So do not miss those. They will sell out. There's Ooh, in which you will discover how to perform amazing card tricks and read minds. This is why I signed up. I've always wanted to get psychic powers. And this is where you're going to get psychic powers. Here's, here's predict the future. Read minds here's, and predict the future. It says, I, I'm, I'm going to have a lawsuit if I cannot read minds and predict the future after this. Here's, here's uh, oh, speaking. Okay, can I, advertising. Go ahead. So just so you know, both sessions are sold out already. Whoa. I'm telling you, you guys, I keep saying they should put on more because yeah. they always sell out. Yeah. Too bad. So sad. Get your tickets. And, and I didn't book for Kenny's because I'm coming in very late on mm -hmm. Tuesday night and I didn't know how I would be feeling. So I thought I'd give myself a buffer. And he, Kenny right now is watching this and he says, I know because he sold out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sold out, <dude. laughs> but if you need any help, Kenny. I'm available. Uh. I will be wandering in to take more pictures like this. So they either do these giant circular tables. Here's here's Grace and um, Chip Denham, who will not be there this year, unfortunately. Mm. But they do this really wonderful um, workshop that's on um, asking questions and how to ask questions. And and so so they do their little talk and then they give like a, a assignment to, to learn how to do, a, you know, here's here's an example. Practice with the five people around you. The workshops are another really great place to get to know people because in the workshop, um, you're so, it's Thursday before everything really starts big. And so you, if, you, if you're shy about meeting people and you, you want to break the ice a little bit, it's a great place to do so in the workshop area. Sit by yeah. somebody you don't know. I didn't know anybody there. And that was my very first thing I ever did at any psychon. Yeah. And it was Kenny Biddles of all people. And then we of learned the, the, I hear how you. photography I hear tricks can make it look like there is really ghosts. And that Adrian's was first was uh, at mine. Yes, it was your you and Mark Edward talking about your psychic stings, and it was really interesting. That's where I met Abhijit. He and I were in the front row, and it's really funny too. I interviewed Abhijit fairly recently, and at that point, he said to me that he thought that I was a bigwig in the skeptical movement. I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't even I didn't know anybody. It was my first conference. You were and a GSOW editor. I, well, I had been, I was in training, so I was really new. It, and I was a little wallflower because you hardly even saw me, Susan. You were like, where's that? I think girl? there's a photo of, of her kind of standing to the side looking yeah. at her. Like, I was very shy. Hard to imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the second one was Kenny Biddle and Joe Nickel. And it was fantastic, too. And I still I've still got the stuff that they gave out. It was wonderful. Really. So Kenny Biddle like, I'm so excited. I am I'm can't wait to tell people that my workshop is sold out. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I another workshop I went to, I, I remember it was that first year or the next year, was somebody named Mark Edward. Yeah, he did a workshop. That was fascinating. Yeah. The, all they, So they do these. So so for future Psychons, you guys, get there early, at mm -hmm. least by Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, socialize, meet people, and then go to the workshop. Sign up for everything you possibly can. I know it's a separate ticket, but it's yeah. really well worth it. It's a lot it's of quality it, time you're spending. It's a bit with. expensive, especially if you come from Canada yeah well so richard saunders <laughs> says he's going to be around bending spoons and that's right richard saunders is going to be there what saturday friday night saturday and sunday so i he, think so yeah he's he's just like a magic person bending spoons origami he's going to be 
quite a quite a phenomenon everywhere you see him so he's amazing he just he's like people are skeptics on podcast host amazing yeah this would be really awesome to have him there so this is he was amazing at at we can reason i mean our pub night he just was every table he sits at he's going to be bending spoons unbelievable Uh, i i think maybe i had Wendy. you've never met kenny biddle there's no way you have not met kenny biddle when what Oh, she's answering comments. What are you talking about? She says, I've never <laughs> met Kenny Biddle, and I'm looking forward to meeting Kenny Biddle. How could Wendy not have met Wendy, B- uh, Wendy Biddle? Wendy Biddle. <laughs> Kenny Biddle. Kenny Biddle is like everywhere all all day, all time, like me. You know, it's like. And Wendy's, yeah, of course, you know. Oh, anyway, here. Okay, now I'm going to show some conference space. Yes, absolutely. You got to get Richard Saunders sitting with you at a table somewhere. oh that's what i was going to say so i was at the conference with him we, we said actually we're at, talking about people that can't at george george that. robs uh you know not it wasn't on the schedule but george rob did a, a impromptu uh music thing the first time i think it was sunday night um and actually we went to dinner together and we were in the lounge together i'm talking about you mr richard saunders it never did any magic in front of me. I have still never seen anybody, not only him, bend a spoon. So I, I, I deny that this can happen in front of somebody. So I think it's all, I thought it's all trickery and video on it because I have only seen it on screens. I have never seen it in person. You'll have, you'll have to prove me wrong, Richard. Uh, yeah, Richard's going to probably bring a ton of spoons. I think he has a bunch that he can, he can bend. It'll be a lot of fun. You guys, I'm telling you, there's a lot that happens that's not in exactly in the room. With exactly. Them with the thing okay so let's talk about the conference area itself because i like preparing people for this because i think it's i think it's good and healthy to have these kinds of things discussed before we get there so there is in the in the main room where all the speakers are there is no tables it's just chairs Mm -hmm. so you'll see a lot of people hanging out at the back of the room there's my son there's my son strolling there's um What's his Dunning? name? Dunning? And then here's <laughs> Biddle and Donna Biddle. And you can see them just working in the background of, of the um and that's Ada, Ada McBean, I think. Oh yeah, Dunning Ada. Dunning. She came up to me and said, I know no one here. I was told to find you and tell you that. <laughs> and I'm like, here, introduced her a bunch of people. And the next thing I know, I never saw her again because she was always hanging out with groups of people. Really nice. Good writer. Mm-hmm. Good writer. Yeah. Writer. Can From Canada. From Canada. And she's a scientist. Yeah. Okay. Now here's a picture of the conference room before it got busy. Mm -hmm. So um, this is not how it stays. This is just way early. I think it was right before I was going to do my talk. So we were coming back from lunch and I took this photograph from the side, but this is what the room looks like. Um, This right here on the right hand side is where you enter and exit. That's that hallway I was showing you guys. And back behind this wall is where the Halloween party and the meet and greet will be. You cannot get to it. And even behind that, farther back is where the registration area is so you can see it's just seats you can put your chair wherever there's no assigned seatings there's nothing set up where certain people can sit and other people can't it's nothing like that you can get up move you can get up sit down you can change seats that's how it is at at PsyCon it's a very welcoming and open spaces here's uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson um who can somebody look at the schedule and tell us who's going to be doing this? This is Thursday after the meeting. Dawkins. It'll be Dawkins talking mm-hmm. to who? Or is it just Dawkins? No, it's just Dawkins talking. Okay. I think he does a keynote. Am yep. I right, Rob? Yep, that's yeah, that's so Thursday night, there'll be that keynote. And so this mm-hmm. is the same thing. You just come in, you sit down wherever you feel like sitting down. Um, you know, you can take pictures or whatever you're going to do. I did. And so that's what it looks like. And here's from another angle during the conference. And so you can sit where you feel like sitting. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember something really um I want to mention. Don't, don't let me forget uh, about John Denoma was telling me something. Okay, so this is the back of the room. You'll find a few of these tables where you can just stand around. I did a lot of this where I walked in and I just kind of hung around. There's JD Sword. This is Paul Fidago over here, and the, there's Romero. And I think there's, that's the, there's that uh, Wendy Biddle guys at the table. <laughs> Wendy Biddle. <laughs> so this is the back area so if you if you feel like you need to make some noise or you're you're you know get a glass of water yeah and if you want to be able to um have a table for a moment or something like that you can either sit down or or you can have these little tables in the back this is where a lot of this is happening um what i wanted to mention is if you have hearing problems if you have issues where 
you need to have a hearing area. There's an ear area at the conference they have reserved. Hopefully they do it again. Mm -hmm. It's kind of right in the back. It's for people who have hearing issues. And what they do is they've got like, um, I can't remember if they've got a something you can plug into your ear or if it was a louder. So I can't remember what it was, but it makes it so that you could hear better. So it's it's accommodating for people who have any kind of problems with that. So that was really nice. Um, they and don't they have something at the front as well, off to uh, at the very very front on the right side, I believe, if, if for visual or I believe they were blocked off. Janine it says they have both. Okay, yeah, Janine, yeah, she's right. Yeah, so so I I don't need that yet, mm -hmm. but it's really nice to know that there are people who have that. And here's another picture in the back. I usually sit, if I'm sitting, I'm sitting way in the back. And here's the very back part of the room. Well, there's a good t-shirt. Uh, that is nice. Look at that GSOW shirt. There's Adrian right there. Wendy, <laughs> Brandy, Kyle. Uh, there's JD Sword in the back picture. Brian Denning back in here. So this is kind of an area where people who, um, like me, I get up and move around a lot. I take a lot of photographs. So I don't want to disturb people. So if I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit way in the back of the room and off to the side. I'm not going to sit there politely with my hands on my lap and just listen. I'm, I'm just not likely to happen because I'll see somebody. I'll know I have to go talk to them. <laughs> I'll just remember something I got to go do. Okay. Book room. I've got a series of photos for book, book room. The book room is where I will probably be most of the time. And this is where you can hang out and socialize. Now, I want to talk about books. I love books. Um, and when you're going to come to this conference, look at your list of speakers that are there or people we've mentioned, like Brian Dunning and Richard Saunders and so on. Who your advice. Care. Yeah. They're not on the list, but you're, they're mm -hmm. there. Um, because if you have any of their books or objects and you want to get them signed, bring them and bring a pen, La Sharpie or whatever, and have them sign it because this is your chance to get this done. I used to do this every year at every conference. I'd go through the shelves or I'd order their books or something and I would have them. But the people who are speakers will have their books there. So I'm going to show you the book room. This is only open during the conference hours and a little before, a little after. But I'm here the majority of the time because they're going to let me have a table in the back and it tends to be a hangout table. There's um, Joseph, somebody say his last name, he's a conspiracy theory guy. He's, he's one of the speakers. You, you like, yeah. Sterling, mm -hmm. myself, Wendy, Abhijit. And right over here, I'm going to have another table this year. It's for Psycon. Um, it's for skeptical um, groups, organizations. We're going to hopefully have a giant map of the world and you can, write down where you're from and we're also going to really focus on trying to get people to um, um i think we're gonna have qr codes and things like that for groups around the world who can say oh i i didn't know calgary was doing this i didn't know that and uh, so you can go in and you can um get information on that please be in touch and i will show you about that but this is where my table is usually at way in the back and this is mark edward and um skipping his name i can't remember but i have this here because you can see how the back of the the photos um of the photo here you can see all these books there's t-shirts you can buy there's all sorts of swag here's the wine bottles um here's another picture of that there's jd sword and there's um oh my gosh i can't mark his name is mark and there's mark and i have candy on my table but you can see kind of how the room is set up this is the book room Here's another. Hey, my handle. business cards or my my skeptic zone cards are on there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's Ro George, Robin, Wendy, and Mark. And you can see back in here, uh, this is just kind of a quiet area. You can talk, and there's usually some tables set up. You're not going to be able to buy things except for CFI stuff. So this is not a place where a group can come and set up their table to sell stuff. We don't, they don't have that. It's a lot of problem with taxes and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they don't have that set up that way. Here is, here is a table for New York City skeptics. He has all these objects on here that are odd, you know, like play around with the objects that do make whirly sounds and stuff like that. So that's going to be there. But that's probably. Hey, uh, I, fa I found my pictures from uh, Bill Nye in the, in the book room at your table. Can I share that? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. All right. There we go. Yeah, nice. Right. Eating, his Eating his lunch. Eating his lunch. 
Yeah, and you're like, I cannot believe Bill Nye is sitting. Yeah, there. And is is that Abby Hafer? Yeah, Abby, yeah, Abby yeah. Hafer. She was, she was a speak, speaker. She was a speaker year. that year. Yeah. yeah. So, did you guys want to? Oh, do you want yeah. to? Let me and tell the story. Let's see. Ada, Ada stopped by and was talking. And uh, there's that's that is Klaus. Klaus, yeah. Klaus from and, uh, Copenhagen. And in, the, in the background, my have, wine buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know him well. And there's uh, Jeff in the background. Yeah. Yeah, and and I got a selfie, even though he hates selfies. It's not a selfie. It's not a selfie. So we took the picture. It's a picture. Yeah. Yeah. So should I tell that story of mm -hmm. why Bill and I was sitting at our table? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I got up. I was going to go to the bathroom and I had to go way across. That was not at the Flamingo. Or was it? No, it was not at the Flamingo. It was 2018. Westgate. 2018. It was Westgate. Yeah. A different casino. And so I was walking away from my table, getting ready to go to the bathroom. And I saw Bill Nye standing there. He wasn't on the schedule. He was there to see Stephen Pinker. Mm -hmm. And so I saw him. And he got up to the registration area for the Psycon thing. And he was telling somebody that he was really hungry. He just got in. And I said, well, well, let's see if we can find you something to eat. And so this hotel staff was in the back. And I said, Mr. Nye would like something to eat. Is there well, something we can get for him? And I'm not in charge. I don't, I have zero, nothing, right? You just do this with confidence. You say, because the, the hotel staff is looking at him like, you know, kind of like, oh, that's Bill Nye. And I said, could you, can we find some? And they said, we can put together some sandwiches for him. And I said, would that be all right? And, he, and I don't know Bill Nye either. I don't really know him, know him. And I said, do you, you know, we're both fellows, but I don't know him. And I said, would that be all right for you? And he said, yeah, yeah, sandwiches would be great. And I said, yeah. I said, when you're done, it, when you get your sandwiches, if you want to go over to my table, which is way over there in that corner, you know, you're welcome to sit down and eat. He goes, okay. And then I turned to one of my GSOW med, uh, people who was standing near me, stunned. I can't remember who it was. And I said, <laughs> okay, well, when, when he's got his food, can you show him where to sit? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and I just wandered off. I went to the bathroom. Bill Nye is just a guy. I mean, seriously, Richard Dawkins, all these people were just people, right? So just treat them with respect. And they're just people. Of course, he asked them. I made him sandwiches. But he got back. And he went and I came out of the bathroom and I went back down and he's sitting at the table just fine. And I'm like, you guys leave him alone. He's trying to eat his food, you know, give him a break. And then people were like off in the distance, like, oh, God, I want to come talk to him. Bye. And finally, he had pity on him because, of course, he can't go anywhere or do anything without having people all over him. So yeah, so had, so that that was a difference, by the way. Most of the people, like I said, when Dawkins was registering, no one knew who he was. Bill Nye, even people who mm -hmm. were not Psycon goers, who are otherwise, they know who he, is, you know, yeah. knew who well, he, he was. Look. Right. Richard Dawkins can yeah. look like any old man. That's well, and Richard now. Dawkins wasn't in everybody's classroom. I know yes. Bill Nye exactly. stuff. Exactly. All, all my kids had Bill Nye at some point in their classroom in their science exactly. classes. So. Right. And, and Neil deGrasse Tyson is somewhere in between there because mm -hmm. he's been on television a lot. So even if you're yeah. not science oriented, you may have seen him. In yeah, be respectful when you yeah, yeah. meet these people, but yeah. they expect that you're going to come up to them and they know the signs. Richard Saunders says, one year, I even managed to get my own autograph. <laughs> <laughs> and Wendy has another tip that I really like. If you're bringing in your own books that you want to have signed and, and you're worried it's about like, it's just bring yeah. the dust cover. Mm -hmm. just bring part of the book you know and have them sign it and then they can then you can put it back but i'm telling you you guys bring less stuff in your luggage you will not wear it you're not going to spend any time at the pool so just give up on that idea this is not the vacation anymore. there's a pool <laughs> there's an outside there what are you talking about there's an outside to vegas don't don't even bother i mean come on i always pack a swimsuit knowing fully well I will not use it but the yeah. year that I don't pack it is the year I will use it but um the uh it just really small I just like the really small my luggage but anyway always leave extra space because at Psycon you're going to want to pick up some shirts ah oh, see you're going to want to get some shirts you're going to want to get swag you're going to want to get books because this the CFI um area Tim Binga he's the guy in charge of that he's going to have all this table with all these books and the speakers are wandering around. So you're going to want to get them and get them signed. So just make right. room in your luggage because you know you're going to be able to, you're going to need the room. 
Oh, who's so, that? Lawrence so Krauss. here's my experience getting my book signed uh, by Lawrence Krauss, who is the feature speaker one year. And uh, I, I had a shirt I made custom made for him. And he took a picture of me wearing the shirt. <laughs> you could have smiled better, Rob. <laughs> I just thought that was great. Well, what's the shirt say? Um, it says, let's see, because his book was a universe from nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And it was, I'm never going to get this right without looking at it, but it was something like, um, let's see. So the universe came from nothing and God created the universe. Therefore God created nothing. Something like that. <laughs> Take that Kraus. That's what it said. On the front. <laughs> he, so he, he loved it. He had to take a picture. By the way, I had a similar one made for Dawkins and he does not have the same kind of sense of humor. It was, if we all More came shy. from monkeys, how come there are still monkeys? Take, take that Dawkins. And he said, very amusing. <laughs> <laughs> with a straight face with his straight face by the way yeah no he did it with a british accent so you put your... <laughs> of course well yeah okay so let me get that over is to the... very amusing. let me get over to this thing because i need to i need to we need to move along. so we're going on two hours susan so we need to get on with the sunday papers yes let's do that right now what sunday papers what are the sunday papers tell us about the Adrian. robert <laughs> okay so you've written a bunch about this i've i've done videos and written a bunch about this too so sunday we couldn't possibly have been here two hours there's just no it, way it's almost two o'clock well I my, time. At 11. my time okay well people are weird <laughs> brian dunning is planning a flash mob with special special skeptic oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a yeah. good point that's uh, a good point thanks wendy now, which we all are he's got these skeptoid media shirts that are wait wait there's Skeptoid Media shirts that's the owl and and Richard Saunders. There's a rumor out there. He's created a origami um, earrings. They're the, so cool. Yeah, they're the Skeptoid things. And Richard Saunders should have a whole bunch of his origami earrings, cufflinks, and stuff like that for sale. So bring some cash. Um, anyway, um, so Skeptoid is going to have different shirts. You can get a whole bunch. They're all different colors for each day. So like on Thursday, you're supposed to wear this color. Friday, you're supposed to wear that color. Saturday, you're wear this color. So on. So check out skeptoid.com and you'll get that. Okay, Sunday papers. Okay, go for it, Rob. You're you're the expert. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> why, why why am I? Well, is this is your fourth sign, uh, fourth um fourth time. Paper. Yeah. Fourth time. Two, so two two of the three people on the screen will be presenting at SciCon during the Sunday papers. Yes. So the, what are the Sunday papers? So this is not like what they call at, an, at a science conference, the paper paper exhibit, which is basically really like just papers in a room and you go look at. Mm -hmm. uh, like a poster. They use, yeah. they use the same name, but th this is giving um, relatively unknown, not famous people a chance to do a presentation, a talk at the conference. And unlike the uh, the featured speakers who are invited this is a competition. So, and Adrian can tell you about that because Adrian was accepted to speak <laughs> for the first time and she has just gone through this. I've been through it several times. So I basi have gone basically it. you have to jump through these hurdles mm -hmm. and prove that you're worthy. And uh, Adrian has been selected as being worthy this year. No, it's awful. She's always been worthy. Oh, I didn't know if I was going to be worthy, but hey, Mel you know. Melanie's a featured speaker this year. Yes, and she last is. Last year, she was. Um, she was a Sunday. Mm -hmm. This is fifteen minutes. Yeah, it is. Like that, that's going to be the hardest part for me because I like to talk and oh, no, I like to. You're going to be like boom, 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 boom. Go, you're so, off. The first thing I ever went to like this. In fact, the first skeptical talk I ever gave was at New York City Skeptics, mm -hmm. and they called it Speedy Camp, mm -hmm. and we had ten minutes, so 10 it, minutes, was, wow. it was even less time. And the first person who went was literally yanked off the stage. They took the microphone from him because he was going too long. It was going. embarrassing. Mm -hmm. And I have that fear all the time now when I get up and do this. It's like, that's what's going to happen to me. So I practice, practice, practice and make yeah. sure. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll have it down. It's, it's not going to be a problem. But Richard, Richard Saunders right. says you protest. Adrian is very famous. And when oh, she's bringing her origami. Oh, I don't feel famous. <laughs> so so if you attend the Sunday papers, and I recommend everyone do this who didn't already book a flight out. Can we get the time? Saturday. What's that? Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock on Sunday. Ten o'clock on Sunday. Now for Saturday two hours. will have been the Halloween party that night. Sure. Mm -hmm. So 
you're going to want to stay up late after that, but really try to get some sleep because yeah, that, you that, really don't want to miss the Sunday papers. That's been a problem because I've gone to the Halloween party every year and then I've been speaking every year, it seems. Well, that's why you get adjusted to the time zone before you get yeah. there right? so that you East Coast people are right. not, you're able to So, so what you're going to see is these are five or six sometimes. I think it's five this year, last time it was six. People who've gone through a competition, they send in a proposal. There's a committee that, that uh, CSI has that looks through them. And they decide, okay, of all the ones we received, which are we going to pass to the next level this, yeah. to the second level, right? right. And, and and then they get notified and say, some subgroup of that first set gets notified and says, okay, we think this is a reasonable idea. Now give us the presentation. And, and the paper. And a paper and a that paper. is worthy of yeah. being published on this topic. Yeah. And you have a very short time to do that, Adrian, right? Oh, what was it? yeah. Well, they were late notifying us this year, but I think four or five days late. And they didn't extend the deadline. So I had, I think it was 10 days. I can't remember, but it felt like four days. Yeah. <laughs> and that part of that was because I was very heavily involved in organizing a golf tournament uh, here in Calgary for the PGA Canada. So, so it was it was a little insane, you know, spending 12 hours a day at a golf course, and then coming home and writing a paper. But I got her done. So yeah. and then got it accepted. So that was really yeah. exciting. And then they notify the five or six people uh, whether, you know, that they are going to be speaking and mm -hmm. then they have to make sure, are you sure you can do it now? Because many weeks after they first sent their, and, you know, mm -hmm. yes, can you come to the conference? Can you do this? And so that's what happens. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's 15 minutes each. Uh, and then the last year, what they did, and I believe they're going to do it this year, although I haven't seen any writing, is they're going to do a Q&A session with everyone up on the stage who gave a paper. They did that last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really good. I really enjoyed that part. Yeah, I have a video of that for anybody. They do not video the Sunday papers. I will probably video all the Sunday papers, but it's not an official Sunday paper. So you, you will not see these videos later on um, YouTube, unless, of course, you run across something like I Right, right. So uh, unless I do again what I did, last, what, what I did last year. So last year I wrote an article and I got together with all of the Sunday paper presenters and I said, please do a recording of what you did at SciCon, at home, on Zoom, and send it to me. And I put them all, all the links in with some description of them. And, and each of the speakers got to tell, including Melanie Teresa King, about it was their first conference and what they thought about SciCon. And so I wrote an article with the links to all of the videos. But yeah, there's no, and I don't know for sure I'm going to do that this year, I may, but there's no official videos that are taken of those, unfortunately. Except mm -hmm. for what I have recorded mm -hmm. unprofessionally off of, a, you know, nothing fancy, but I have it. And uh, Sunday papers are just, I, I adore them. And I've been going to them, every conference that has them, I just adore them. It's like a skeptic camp, but more right. official, more yeah. so, well, we, formal. Because of the paper part, yeah, and the application process. It's very, very it's a close thing. It forces these people to get it really down to just the basics, be well rehearsed. Adrian tells me, she goes, oh, I'm so sad that it's not going to be everybody. You know, the audience is going to be small. Yeah. I said, oh, it's only going to be 400 people and not the it's not 400, 400 people. people. <laughs> so, uh, 400 like 50 people. people. No, uh, it think, doesn't matter to me. I think I counted last time. It looked like about half. So maybe it was okay, that's pretty good. Well, that would be amazing. Yeah. So just, so here, here's the crew who's, who presented last year, including me in the middle there. And uh, two, two of those people, uh, this is uh, Natalia. Pasternak and this is Ray Hall. They're, they're on the committee. They run the committee that decides who speaks, and everyone else here is a speaker. Uh, this is Melanie, who got the the main stage this year. She I'm going to be speaking with her in double era. And, and then and then in this in this article, I go through you know e what each of their talks, and I gave them each a little bit. They could write a few paragraphs about what they thought of the conference and, and doing the presentation. So this is if you want to want to look this up, you can Google it pretty easily. Photographs from. Uh, um, Carl with a K Carl. and yeah. Brian, Brian Engler. Yep. Mm -hmm. they, they have been so helpful to us to be able to have quality articles. Um, when we when an article is written, we have something quality to put out there, and as well as getting them up on Wikipedia. You know, there's there's so many aspects to to these events that you can participate. They have a volunteer area. Um, you can get together with this with somebody. If you want to volunteer some time and help out in the registration area or other areas and things like that, if you have special talents, please let somebody know if you want to volunteer and help. Last, we got to get to the Halloween party. Okay. Adrian, you got some pictures you want to show? 
Wait, wait, before you do that, I, 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 wanna, I, wanna, I want to encourage people to submit papers oh, yeah. for next year, right? Mm -hmm. For 2024. You for guys, 2024. Really when, it, when it gets is, close, you'll see them it's post. A, it's hard. Okay. It's, it's, it's hard. But then again, you're just the stage of Cyclone. It's a big deal. I wouldn't but, say it's hard. I would just say it's, uh, it takes some time. Well, you that already had papers yeah. and, written for a skeptical inquiry. So you're yeah. already a published. Yeah, and so I, I knew the process for sure. And yeah. the topic that you're going to be talking about is one that you already knew really well. Which it is, still takes time. That's the thing. For yeah. me, it was the time. And if you know, and usually I would assume you're going to pick a topic you know really well. You're not going to say, oh, I'm going to do a Sunday paper on right. something you don't know a whole lot that's about, true. like vaccines. I'm well, not going to do a well, topic yeah. on vaccines. Oh, right? why raccoons sneak into people's houses in the middle of the night and <laughs> leave their kitchens. <laughs> Exactly. Because the or, cat food is so delicious. I sure I have imes. It's like a trick or treat over here. Well, so yeah. So so the inside scoop on this is they don't often. I, I can't well, say every like year. Inside scoop of raccoons. <laughs> no, on the Sunday paper. Visiting Susan's kitchen. <laughs> so, so this year and at least one other year, they didn't get a lot of submissions, or at least a lot of you know reasonable submissions. So if you did a reasonable submission, you're like almost likely for sure to get a talking spot, likely for sure. That's, uh, but yeah, so, and that's that's in fact how I got to talk this year because I, I told the organizers, I don't want to take a spot from anyone else. I felt really bad about doing three in a row. And I said, oh my God, four in a row. Uh, and, and I said, well, I have a proposal ready to go because I'm giving it somewhere else. And I'll, here, I'm, I'm willing to do this. If you don't get enough, but I don't expect that to happen. And that's what happened. They didn't get enough reasonable submissions. I think they get lots of submissions, but just not ones that are. Right. And it are, also are, depends on what the yeah. other people are speaking about. Because they mm. don't want to have two people who have the same. So Correct. they might have gotten a, two really great submissions. It, yeah, it's hard to know. The they're all on the same that, topic. But, Maybe they're both going to be vaccinated. But, but I think if you do have a unique you don't know. Topic I don't know. And, and, you know, you have the time to put it together well. I think you have a reasonable spot getting, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. on the stage. It's like, yeah, just but it, it is a big deal. That's where I started as, yeah. as a Sunday paper. Um, Janine says, leave the raccoons out of this. <laughs> And Wendy had a great suggestion. She said, bring phone chargers and portable power banks. Mm -hmm. There's usually places to plug mm -hmm. in, but you're going to have to sit there kind of near your phone. So yeah. it might not be where your where your area is. And um, so do Halloween party. And then I, I got some tips that I have. Well, I think we kind of talked about the Halloween party, but do you mind if I just share uh, of course. share the, the PowerPoint here? Because it has a Halloween party in it as well. But I think it's really important just to finish and sort of summarize the fun of this comp yeah absolutely conference. you're not going to find this just sitting at home watching mm -mm. YouTube i just have to pick the right one here we go you can see that okay oh my gosh who is that and what is that on her head and why is she making <laughs> a horrible expression there <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah that's not a halloween party that is not the halloween party. i told you it's not gonna be the halloween party there are some pictures of that oh, in here oh you're showing that, pictures of fun when, yes fun this is the summary the last grand hurrah there's Carl. This is, I believe, in Wendy's room where we're all just hanging out. Sitting and then bed. what I couldn't believe is that first picture there with Abhijit, we, I first met him in an elevator. I mean, I know him, but that's where we, we ended up meeting and there's the selfie. I rode in an elevator with Davey and then he was very gracious to do the selfie for me because I couldn't do it. I was fumbling around. And he Can you say so who Davey is? Davey is, uh, is James Randy's husband. And uh, so I was really excited. He was a psycho monster. Yeah. So these are the people you get to hang out with and say hello to and take a picture with. And take a picture with it. And there's Carl with a K. And and this is this picture uh, right here of uh, uh, so th that was at area. What's it called? Area 15 or whatever it's called. It's a it's a it's a place that we went to on Thursday afternoon. And, you know, so if you're not doing the workshops, you can't get in. There's lots of places to go and people can recommend and you can hang out with other people. And look who's here, Evan Birdstein. And then I had to give a shout out to Canadian talker. That's um, uh, Caulfield, Timothy Caulfield. Timothy Caulfield. Wonderful. And he, we talked with him. He signed books. He's, he's really gracious. All the speakers are gracious. Guess who that is? <laughs> Richard Weissman. I was so excited so to awesome. meet him. Uh, I, I want to mention that uh, Evan wasn't even at the conference. He was just at a wedding. He was at a wedding and he just, he just popped in to say hello. And he just was so gracious and took pictures with people. It was really nice. So you never know who you're going to run into. I, and who's that character? Yeah. Oh, I don't know who's that guy. 
<laughs> and then Kenny Villali and and Kyle. I mean, it's just so fun. This is just we're hanging out all the time. And this was at uh, the is that Mexican restaurant. At, that's not? that Mexican restaurant. You can see I've got my nerd shirt on. You know, you take the square root of negative four and that equals to two. And it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And anyone who does mathematics uh, uh, will understand uh. that. Oh, there's Jane. <laughs> there's Jane. That's a great picture of her. Yeah, it's a great Anthony, picture. Melanie, yeah. Paul. Melanie, yeah. And Anthony. And there's Edward Herbic Herbic. and Edward. I'm following <laughs> behind them <laughs> going somewhere. I don't know. I where. wear a lot of I wear that jacket a lot. Yeah. So it's really fun. Yeah, and then there's, I have to tell a little story about Ross because Ross, again, we've talked about how gracious he is and how awesome he is. Well, I said, you know, my son is the biggest fan, but he can't be here. Uh, and so he took my phone and recorded a message to Graham. Isn't that awesome? And said, hello, Graham just, just like about, fell, he fell over. He just couldn't believe that, that Ross would do that. It was so nice that he would do that. He's as nice as on the podcast as he is in real person. I mean, yeah. And he's so approachable. So don't be afraid to say, hi, I love your show. And then <laughs> this is one of my favorite moments. I was that is so with, George Rob. Yeah, I was sitting with George. And I don't know if you noticed something about those pictures. What's happened? He switched glasses. Yeah. We sure did. <laughs> he, he took my glasses and gave me his. And then we did it again. He's such a funny guy. He's so, another very approachable guy. He hangs out. He talks to everybody. He's so we'll be the MC this year, you guys. Yeah, he's the MC. And then this is just people talk. They're one of the panel talks. And then this is the, oh, I don't know why I've got the Davey one in there again. I thought I took that out, but sorry. Oh, uh, I, I just, I was so excited podcast. about Davey. Yeah, so this is me being an oasis. That was my tropical theme. And there's Celestia Ward. It was a lot of fun. And I think you can sort of see the party going on in the background. But yeah, get dressed up. And then this was a picture again the of party. the Brian Dunning party from the other end. I think that's why you were having trouble recognizing it, Rob, because <laughs> Susan took it from the opposite end. And yeah, so it's really, really a, a fun, fun time. And then lastly, to summarize breakfast. <laughs> and yes, oh, that was horrible. Look at me. I'm looking like, oh, I cannot believe you guys are eating that. But Waffles Wendy, look what she, she ordered both of those. That's a great picture of Wendy. Isn't that, isn't that fun? I it's just thought it was so great. Really great breakfast there. Really interesting breakfast. That does not look appetizing to me. No. <laughs> no, no, me neither, but they're you beautiful. Bacon and eggs. They're beautiful. <laughs> awesome. And she did share it. She did offer for people to share it. She mm -hmm. didn't have all of that herself. Wendy talked me into going to the uh, Circle of Lace show uh, on Sunday with. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said so Michael Jackson is alive. I thought he died, but apparently because it's, it's the Michael Jackson show. So, so if you yeah. go to the Facebook, it's pretty expensive. Page. But to see Michael Jackson in person, I, I definitely paid to go. <laughs> so if you go to the Facebook page, the Facebook Psycon page, you guys, um, there is a thread there for people who want to go do other things. I mean, there's a mob museum. There's the, um, uh, I think there's a few people going to go to escape room. There is a uh, what is that a visionary place we went to? Um, Meow Wolf. There's Meow Wolf. There's um, mm -hmm. the the uh, the thing that swirls. What's that thing called? People get on it and they ride up there and they eat their chocolate. And Rob did it. Oh, the, the, right the, thing the, the wheel. And Rob's yeah, the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Yeah. There's a lot of well, things. There's there's shows. There's Penn and Teller. Well, and check. I don't know if he's on. Is he in? He's not going to be here, is he? I don't know. But oh. Area 50, 15, which is a joke on play on Area 51, right? It's it, it, it was a really cool place to go. We, we had to take an Uber to go there. But they have a lot of fun stuff. It's a, a grocery store, so, supposedly. But if you look at all the stuff, it's really fun things. Like I bought this moon water. outside of Meow Wolf. So I bought this moon water. Mm. Yeah. And it's uh, electrolyte enhanced purified water with 1 trillion atoms in it. And oh, it's, it, it has some really fun bits in here that it's, it has enchanted ions that flow with abundance and hydration. So it's really funny. Like there's all these funny things. They're, they're not serious. They're not taking it seriously. And then you're walking through this grocery store and then you've find the fridge will open to a secret passageway that takes you into another the bowels of this this is spaceship. meow wolf she's talking about what's that meow wolf 
That's what is you're that talking what, about. Yeah, that's what it's, it's called, Meow Wolf. Area 15. Yeah, is, but it's is Meow it called Wolf. called that as well? Oh, okay. There's Meow Wolves all over the place. Oh, the uh, Omega Mark. Omega, Omega Mark. Mark, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. this is the theme of this particular Meow Wolf is the Omega Mark. It's, it's, it's great, you guys, but it's, it's, and it's a long day. It, yeah, well, yeah, it's it's and it's sensory stimulation. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, yeah. Crazy. You've yeah. got issues with that. So I, not the place to be. I want to know where the where the sphere is in relation to the flamingo. Oh, the sphere is opening this year. A lot of people want to go there. There's also they just had their first there. concert. They just had the first concert, and it's always illuminated from the outside. So I I hope we can see this. Hmm. So what what happens, you guys, is is you get your tickets to go to to Vegas early, like like I say Tuesday, if you can get there Tuesday, then you've got that time to go do stuff with other people because once the conference starts it's really hard to go do anything because you're mm -hmm. gonna miss stuff yeah it's it, conference it's related you don't want to miss that start Sunday to finish night, all day yeah get your tickets and go see um go see michael jackson with wendy and um, heather and rob's going to be there but Sunday, Sunday there's not a lot of time to do other things and i mm -hmm. usually never go do anything i love the pinball museum i love to go mm -hmm. and play pinball i absolutely adore that but i just we did that with you I usually what I do is I go in, I don't leave the casino and the hotel. I'm there and that's the where I'm at. If if I get sleep, I get my sleep and then I'm up socializing with people. So don't worry about me. If you want to hang out with me or anybody around that, that's where you'll find me is probably hanging out in the casino in the food court or somewhere just hanging out with people. But lots of other people want to go to shows. I know that Jane and Robin Welsh went. They went to lots of shows. They went yeah. to a lot of shows together. Yeah. yeah, they went and did a bunch of stuff. And they didn't know each other beforehand. You know, they just said, I'd like to go do this. And they said, yeah, I'd like to go do this. And they just went and did it. Mm -hmm. And and so this is the power of these kind of conferences. But you kind of really have to be there early. Don't try to cut corners so you can be at work on Monday. It just, I mean, if you really have to, I guess. You, you have, have to, to, yeah. If you can, if you have the option of taking a day off, extra day off and showing up at work on Tuesday or something try to do that because this is worth it and if you think that you're going to be hanging out with your friend from high school or your your you know your you have a spouse that's going to stay in the hotel room and hang out at the pool all day and then after the conference you're going to spend it with this other person who is not going to associate with the people at the conference it's really hard mm -hmm. because you're going to find that you want the conference is the entire time it's like mm -hmm. four days there isn't a, yeah, there is no speaker on the stage at this moment, but that doesn't mean that the conference is over. It's mm -hmm. still happening because we're all there in the same location and we don't have anywhere to go. So um, and if you are bringing a significant other, bring them to hang out They're gonna, with, with the rest of the group. But they, that's, that's my advice. I don't think it's a you know, it's it's not like there's a downtime. I mean, you could. Nobody's gonna force you. I mean, if you're the type of person who does it, but if you're if you want to go and meet people and enjoy yourself in that way, you got hours to do that. I mean, we're all reasonable people. People go to sleep, and there's not a lot of drinking. There really isn't a lot, a lot of drinking. There's some, but not not to an excess. So you're not gonna find people at three in the morning probably to hang out with them. No. We're sleeping. Most people <laughs> sleep. And there's very little drama. So, uh, you know. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Okay, here's my tips that I, I want to make sure I get. Bring a sweater or a jacket, a light jacket. This place is over conditioned, air conditioned. They always are. It's always cold. Always. And if anybody else who hears this right now has a question or wants to put something in chat, a tip like Wendy was doing, please do so really quick because we're getting ready to end. Bring a sweater, bring a light jacket. You could always leave it in the room, but they do really over air condition these buildings and it gets. It Don't gets leave it in the room. If you got to go get it, it'll be a 20 minute round trip at best. Yeah, that's true. Don't um, leave it in the room. Just leave it somewhere. On, Put it on your chair. to hold your chair. Put it on your chair. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Um, I remember David Powell, uh, one, of, one of our friends, the GSOW editor, he said he, uh, Bertha Vasquez, who runs the TIES program, she was freezing and i think his wife gave her um her sweater oh. and she says and now they're friends and she says it was so nice it is my way of getting to know her because we we loaned her a sweater always wear your name tag you will purchase books 
get them signed, bring books for signing. As Wendy says, bring, bring the jacket if you have to, but buy the books there if you can, because if, if this, buy the books there because it supports Center for Inquiry and the conference. And we want to have this conference around a long time. But if you, if they're not speaking, in other words, they don't have the book for sale, then just bring your own copy. Bring a Sharpie, be nice. Name tags, name tags, hold business cards. Sleep at home. <laughs> <laughs> just It'd be time for sleep when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> used to the time change, get there early. Leave Monday after breakfast. Avoid the friendly people trying to sell you stuff in the hallways. Take selfies, take pictures, take lots of pictures. You will, you will appreciate it later. Use the Facebook group to communicate with each other. Um, and I said, talk to people that they are just as lost as you are and no any, nobody either. <laughs> what else? You guys got tips? Well, a good way to get, get out of people talking to you about like timeshares and stuff. And you realize that's what they're coming over for. No, I, I got to leave for the airport in an hour. That's all. Because they, they want to schedule for something. They want to schedule you for something that is yeah. not going to be immediate. And then they see you there all week. <laughs> and then that then happened to me, right? I thought you were leaving in an hour. And I'm like, I am. <laughs> I'm still in an hour. I'm talking to you. I still want to well, leave. And don't forget, go to the Sunday papers. Try and stay till Monday. All those things. If you haven't booked your flights. Right. Um, bring or, bring or, business cards. Mm -hmm. If you have them. Um, you're not going to be able to sell anything per se in the book room or anything like that. But um, we had somebody when you were trying to sell on everybody on a game, some game he had, and we were like, no, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Sterling, I, I had written this article and I will, I keep sharing it. It's called Psychon 101. And it was about Psychon 2000 and we were preparing for Psychon 2019. And I kept sharing things. The theme this year, is the 1960s. Thank you, Wendy, for reminding us. Oh, thank you, Wendy. 1960s yes. is the theme. You do not have to dress in the theme. You could dress in whatever you want to do or not at all. But that is the theme this year. Oh, I'm going to share. So I've been doing recordings, video recordings with many of the speakers from this year. And so you can go to skepticalinquired.org uh, category psychon to get them. And uh, so the, these were like short, usually I try to keep them between, not as long as the video today, Susan, 30 to 40 <laughs> minutes at maximum, uh, talking about what they're going to be doing at PsyCon and also just generally about, you know, about them. Uh, so I did uh, tell her, uh, all of these people are speakers, uh, Dustin Dean, who's a mentalist, uh, this guy, most people know who that is. Uh, also, uh, Lee Ann Lord has previously been an MC, but this time she's going to get uh, just a stand up routine, but she's going to wow us all with that. All, all at one shot for, for 30 minutes, we get to hear her comedy, the very funny lady. Uh, Stuart Feiss, uh, this fellow most people know, uh, Dr. Paul Offit, who was all over television during uh, the Eugenie Scott, uh, Mick West, who's going to be talking about UFOs, and the previously mentioned uh -huh. Melanie Teresa King. Right, absolutely. So, so every one of them will tell you what they're talking, what their speech is about. So it gives you a lot of him. background of who the person is. Yep. You can also yep. check out their Wikipedia pages. Most of them have Wikipedia pages. Thank you, Jess and W. And all the tips and everything we're talking about here for PsychOn can also be used at other conferences. I will be at the Australian Skeptics Conference in Melbourne this year, and I will be at the New Zealand Skeptics Conference. And you know, all the stuff that we're we're, we're giving you information on. It's all pertinent to all the other conferences. You know, when you go into these conferences, it's the same darn thing. People are there and they're like, I don't know anybody. Um, am I going to fit in? Are people going to like me? Is there going to be anybody to talk to? Who do I hang out with? It's all the same. People are, have made the decision to come to the conference and there's probably half the room does not know anybody or they barely know somebody. So so all these tips are the same that I'm, I'm giving you. Um, make the effort to to meet people um you know use the tech techniques i told you you know just sit next to a person saying you know would you think of that speaker would you think of that talk or have you what other talks have you gone to that you've liked um you know is this is your first icon those kind of conversations open up the door to having a conversation with the person that usually will leave you in a place mm -hmm. where you can you can, what, what uh, what's your favorite podcast is it the skeptic zone of course it is of course it's the skeptic zone <laughs> or squaring the strange um or skeptoid 
but um, yeah, have have those conversations with people. Do you listen to podcasts? What do you like? And you know, what's mm-hmm. up? and pull up your phone and show them everything you have subscribed to, and see what they've subscribed to, and you can have commonality right there. Just like, oh, I love that one. That was my favorite one. Or oh my gosh, the Havana syndrome. Oh, I know that's for reals. <laughs> that Winchester Mystery House. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go there and get haunted. <laughs> but yeah so um i'm looking at my tips of things and mark edwards suggested don't don't drink too much and leave your money in your wallet um mm-hmm. always have a witness nearby he says <laughs> he, says <laughs> he says don't gamble don't bother gambling yeah, yeah said that um uh go to the reception introduce yourself to people you wear mm-hmm. your tag all the time um janine the Noma was saying that people are, there's a lot of interesting people there, make friends, hang out. You know, I'm really pushing that aspect because the speakers speak for themselves. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, that, that is obviously why a lot of people come to these conferences. The speakers are awesome. You've got this mm-hmm. great community. People have worked really hard to put this together for us. And we really have to appreciate it and bring people because yeah. if, if attendance numbers get low, conferences go away. Yeah. Yeah. that's the end to it and there's nobody to, so we have to make it uh viable for them to want to have these conferences it's the, so the, the other aspect of it i don't think we've really talked about is um i think both me and adrian got involved more heavily in skepticism because we went to these conferences mm-hmm. right right we were both working for guerrilla skeptics and doing that as, as a thing but you know a lot of people that would be the end of it mm-hmm. but i went to the conference and i got involved with eventually writing for skeptical inquirer itself mm-hmm. and i get to interview all these amazing speakers mm-hmm. uh adrian has become you know a, a full-time contributor to uh, an amazing podcast so you know you never know what's going to happen if you go to one of these people you'll meet and talk to and you know and, and if you want to get involved this is a really good way to start absolutely it's it's a way of kicking the the i know it's speaking to the choir Mm -hmm. it's a way of kicking those embers and just keeping keeping the motivation throughout the year i mean brian dunn's gonna be showing his really awesome movie if you haven't seen it yet i mean Mm -hmm. it's out there you can see it now you you could you really should see it i'd like to go to the premiere uh that he's going to have there but it's limited seating so i'm willing to not sit in there so other people who haven't had a chance to go but i want to hang out afterwards yeah. talk about it because that's... yeah to go to that you go to the website the, the uf the ufo movie the ufo movie. yeah that also so there's several ways to get there and then yeah. there's, there's a red there's a register for it so that he knows how many people are coming and the size right. of the room. I, I think it'll be over full so i i've seen right. the movie so i i'm okay so. with yeah. Yeah. I, I actually I interviewed Brian channel. and that may be the very next article that comes out with a video interview with Brian Dunning about this movie. And so I, I did get to see it also uh, because of that. And we talked about like where it's going to be available and he's pushing very hard to get it on streaming services, but that mm-hmm. really hasn't happened yet. Uh, I think there's places you can like rent it, but like if, you know, talking about ones where you're paying a subscription and therefore you get it as part of it right now, it's not available for any of those. So, you know, three weeks from now, I don't know if that's going to be the situation. But anyway, this is a way you get to see it for free. Yeah. With a bunch of skeptics who are also yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, have yeah, to we really could talk about it. And, it. and there's going to be a Q&A with that. Brian afterwards, the producer, director, writer. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So come to that for sure. I mean, I think it'd be really hard. You have to try really hard not to have a good time, I think. Yeah. You'll be exhausted. I I always am. I mean, Tuesday, I'm just like a don't talk to me I'm no actually I'm kind of energized now that I think about it but then it's kind of me but yeah so if you can get to Psycon go if mm-hmm. you're trying you're still on the fence I don't know just go if you are waiting for it to be free forget it these things cost this is one of the cheapest conferences that I've seen that is reasonable it's as best as it can be oh know? it's such it is so reasonable even if I have to convert to the American yeah. dollars because I used to look at going to Nexus and I never went because it was just so expensive, oh, especially the with the exchange. It just oh. was out of my I couldn't get your quit. hotel early. The hotels mm-hmm. will, will, will it will fill up. Probably sell up. Yeah. So get yeah. your hotels, you guys. If you need a roommate, if you're comfortable with that kind of thing, post on the Facebook group. If yeah. you need, if you want to help um cut expenses by having somebody going sharing a taxi uber whatever sharing a room people, whatever it uh, is and yeah. back that that's a helpful thing mm-hmm. buy snacks um 
you know, cut back on some of your meals a little bit by maybe eating, you know, I don't Milk know. Milk duds. <laughs> oh yeah. That would be <laughs> you know, Not a good dietary plan. But... The food is expensive at the hotel. <laughs> Everywhere is. And people are all going to want to go someplace and you're going to want to eat with them and it's going to cost. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. It's Vegas. And, um, you know, they've got us. They've kind of got us in that spot. So if you can't get to Saigon this year, um, don't watch social media because you're going to be really like, oh my gosh, are we going to be there? No. We would love to have had you try to make it the next year. 2024 is going to be at a different casino this year. So all the things I've just suggested about the Flamingo will not be. Oh, I did not know that. Is that for yeah. sure? Yeah, I think it's on the Wikipedia page. If you look at Psycon's Wikipedia page, I think Barry made an announcement. It's a, mm -hmm. it's another place I've never heard of before, but when I looked, it's actually owned by uh, the conglomerate of places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's been announced for a while now. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. 2024, somewhere else, a different casino. So yeah, just when you uh, thought you knew um, this one. Really so if you're coming this year, that means it might, next year, I don't know where that is, but it's probably not going to be as convenient to go on the freaking big roll uh, Ferris wheel. So go on the Ferris wheel. I, I don't remember. I I looked it up and I said, oh yeah, there it is. Because it doesn't matter to me where it's at. I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, one year it was up at the North End, which was yeah. not convenient. Oh, the West South Gate. South anything Point. else. Uh, West, South West Gate? Westgate? Westgate? Yeah, Westgate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That wasn't convenient to walk to anything. Or... No, you had to take the monorail. Yeah, right. Yeah. The... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Great, great point. Wendy's got some great, she says masks. I'm not going to wear a mask. Um, but uh, everybody make sure you get your COVID booster. Mm -hmm. Got mine. And your flu shot. <laughs> this week? RSV. RSV got too. Got them all. RSV. I got my RSV and I got my flu shot. They didn't have my booster yet. So that's. No, I didn't get monkeypox. So I hope there's no monkeys there. No monkeys. Well, I'll have to ask Dawkins if there's there's no monkeys because no anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you choose to wear a mask, that's fine. Nobody's yeah. gonna make fun of you or anything nope. like that. If you want to do that, that's fine. Uh Kenny says he does a lot of speaking. Wendy says you get to meet people you only know online. Is there anything mm -hmm. else? And a little warning for those who only know me online. If you come up and please do say hi, I'm really tall. Just so you know, get heads up. Six foot nine. I, yeah. I walked up to her for the first time and I thought she was standing on some stairs or something. Like <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, see on Zoom, everybody's the same height. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. She's only got like a quarter inch yeah. up, uh, over me yeah. right now. Yeah. She's like she's like seven foot two or something. Yeah, now I'm really small. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're far away. Far away. Did you did you play on the girls far. basketball team, Adrian? I was recruited by my high school, yes, and I kind of I hated it, so I I did it for a year and a half. I can't believe it, just because I thought I should, yeah. and then I stopped. And then, you know, what was my passion? You're gonna laugh. It was ballet. Oh. Uh, was I ever going to become a ballet dancer, being close to six feet? No, no, no that was not gonna happen. But I still love the kind of conversations people have. It's like I'm, so, I'm telling you. <laughs> You just sit and you talk about whatever, and it's so interesting, and you get to know people. So, and the real, the re the really surprising thing is, no one will tell you to come to Jesus. Yeah, unless yeah. unless one of the other attendees, his name is Jesus, and he's having a party. So <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> out. Anyway, guys, I do have to wrap this up because I I have uh, another three o'clock thing my time. So oh, whatever. I know. Fine. I know. Okay, anybody out there who's still on the fence, they need help deciding or or whatever, just reach out to one of us. We're we're all on social media. Just come and talk to us. We'll talk and to be, you. About and when be, when we stop recording, I do would like everyone to stay on just for a second. I have a request from Richard. Mm, so, okay. when we stop recording? When we stop recording, yes. Because well, uh, we'll we'll start recording again. So I was just thinking. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I Thank you. Bye, everybody. all. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everyone. Come to SciCon. Come say hi. <laughs>